Wait, what? It was the audio from the game. Oh, oh no, sorry. Um, I was I was looking at this article that's on the highest grossing film series, mm -hmm. but it's like quick picture was Gone with the Wind. So my brain was like, what? Gone with the Wind is from a movie series, but it's not. Hmm. It's just brought me to the page of all the highest grossing films ever. Gotcha. There's just a category on films. What the fuck is... Oh! Oh, that's what that... Okay. The Harry Potter movies aren't called the Harry Potter franchise officially. What are they called? called officially they're called the, the wizarding world films huh i guess because they're like okay. bunching them in with whatever the fuck that spinoff series was they did mm -hmm. and that's cheating you can't have like there's two like there's the marvel cinematic universe series and then the avengers series are in the top five highest rated i mean <laughs> most successful series of all time yeah uh, yeah i agree that is you should only get one but oh well all right how many of these are owned by disney i think we're up and running here so i i'm gonna take us into a life boy mode all right we're here we're alive we can see silent hill 2 on the screen it is right there. And let me turn the game audio back on. Okay. All right. Let's get started with some Silent Hill 2. Ooh, that does sound kind of loud. Yeah, and this is... It's still loud? Well, no, I it just... I could hear when you, when you just were going up and down. I was like, oh, that was a noticeable boop. I don't know how loud the game's actually going to be. Gotcha. Well, yeah, I mean that i can just like kind of turn the desktop dot audio down so yeah let me let me know if the game sounds are too loud and i'll alter that but i've got it at so, least at a level where it's not blowing out my eardrums <laughs> it's a good level yep normal level should i do normal level action i was going to say like normal level action's fine, but what level riddle are you going to pick? That I don't know. What do you think I should do? I honestly can't remember how big I just know if you pick easy, like mm -hmm. the game will straight up just give you answers yeah. in three. So I don't know in two how much it affects it. Gotcha. I mean, we could do hard like if you're gonna be here backing me up, we can do hard, and if we get a riddle that's too hard, then you can look it up. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I bet. I plan to be here for this. Awesome. Unless there's going to be like riddles where like it's a time thing and by picking hard, I'm like fucking myself. I would just pick normal to just be super safe. I have no recollection of time based ones. Let's do hard. We'll be real boys. Yeah, real boys. Oh, man. Yeah, I tried this a bit to make sure it would work in a. Has the old like tank controls. I forgot I had those. Yep. <laughs> oh man. Uh, is that audio supposed to sound that way? Did that breath sound normal to you? I mean, yeah. Okay. It sounded normal for this game. All right. I just wasn't sure. Was going to be like, oh no, do we have audio issues? Mary, could you really be in this town? Silent Hill, and we are a tank man. And yeah, the other PS2 games I was thinking would be really fun to do because I've always really wanted to play them is the Fatal Frame games. 
they're pretty good. Now, this game does not have like good or bad endings. It has a bunch of endings, mm -hmm. and the things that determine what ending you get are super weak. I want the dog one. In my restless dreams. Hey, Will. I don't think you can. I don't think you can get it. I see that town. Yeah, you can't get it. Okay. Solid it's town. like a new game you have plus to one. Play it through twice. Gotcha. Well, it's, I don't know if it's new game plus. It's something. just the game has to have two files on it. But you mm. never did. So you only wow. can get four endings I'm alone right now. There now. Gotcha. In our special place. Well, I, I think we I'm just gonna you. play, and we'll get the ending we get. But. I mean, that's really how it is. Actually, no. Wait, can you only get? You can only get three endings. I lied. I got a letter. Two that required. The name on the envelope said. Hey, Kyle. Thank you Mary. for subscribing. Thank you also for subscribing, Will. My wife's you name. You guys are true bros. Yep. It's ridiculous. Couldn't possibly be true. That's what I keep telling myself. A dead person can't write a letter. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. That's all right. So then... Why am I looking for her? Sometimes you gotta move upstairs. Our special place. What could she mean? This whole town was our special place. Does she mean the park on the lake? We spent the whole day there. Wait, so did James live here before? Just the two of us. No, they visited this place the on vacation. Oh. Could Mary really be there? Gotcha. Is I will be really straight up, alive? I do not know that much about Silent Hill, like, Waiting compared to me. other stuff that I know about for horror games, so... Uh -huh. I won't be able to answer super deep lore. I demand deep lore answers. Okay, so that's gotta be the bathroom hole that I came out of, right? Anything from oh, I thought you were being game. serious for a second. I was like, no. No? This is I mean, not the bathroom that I came out of? Oh, if I because you said the bathroom hole I came out of, and I thought you meant like you climbed out of a wall hole like in the room. Mm, gotcha. Tried to... I was like, no, James just drove here because he's an idiot. Mm. <laughs> Had to resub. Yep, don't want to have to watch ads. Ads are for nerds. And annoying boss fights. I got a map. How do I open my map? Is it with Y button? It is with Y button. I guess it would not be with Y button. On. It would be triangle. It'd be what? It would be triangle. Yeah. the tank are there gonna be like stuff in trash cans and stuff as I'm going around to find or like should I be going up to every object and rubbing I, myself I on honestly it honestly don't remember okay. it has been over a decade since I've beat this game fair enough all that delicious Z fighting <laughs> I will say I don't think this is the worst tank controls I've ever played just because you can still turn while moving forward. I think there's also a sprint button. Yep. There sure is. You want to be doing that shit. Now, I'm going to be killing every monster. I'm not running away from anything. Are you ready to finally go to Toluca Lake? I am. I mean, I'm kind of here. We've played aren't I? three different horror games that reference Toluca Lake. <laughs> well, because we went there like very briefly in four, right? Well, no, because we didn't go to Silent Hill. We just mm. saw, like, they just talked about Toluca Lake on the news or something. 
I thought there was a, a scene where we like teleported to the lake. Uh, let me look. I can't remember. Oh, what's that? I don't like that noise. Don't be making that noise at me. I've changed my mind, Will. I'm not gonna fight everything. What is the... Oh, was the prison supposed to be on Toluca Lake? Yeah, I thought it was something like that. I could be... I could be crazy. Because it, it just said... Because it says, like, we, we found a postcard, but it doesn't seem like it's... Well, okay. the prison doesn't say anything about being in Toluca Lake. That wasn't the one on I was thinking of, though. There was, like, one moment where we... There was like one area where you're very briefly at that's like by the side of a lake. And I guess I, maybe I just assumed it was Toluca Lake. Maybe. I don't know if but there's I remember bird monsters in this one, Will. There are way weirder monsters than bird monsters. I mean, this is the one, this has got all the like really iconic ones like Pyramid Head and the nurses, right? Yes, this is where a lot of them come from. The ones that they kept yeah. having, kept bringing back even when they didn't fit. Correct. This is as far as I played yesterday just to test and make sure it would work. This is where I save the game. It has been done. Right, onto that physical memory card. Yep. Oh fuck, what's that? I don't like that. And then I remembered uh, that in Song of Horror you found a postcard for Toluca Lake as well. You said there were three like though, so what was the other one? I'm trying to remember. I thought there was a third one, because when it happened in Song of Horror, I was like, this is the third one! Gotcha. Did we play Song of Horror after Silent Hill 4? I thought we did. It's all out of order in my mind. I have lost track of all reality. I, I, I feel like you went past the first weapon. Really? that audio is fucking up. Yeah, I definitely think the real PlayStation 2 that we're playing this on, that's totally real, is maybe having some issues with the cutscenes. Excuse me, I... <gasps> oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I no, was it's just... okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? Yeah. I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Um, yeah. It's hard to see with this Pointing fog, through but the graveyard. there's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. But... Yes? I think you'd better stay away. Ah, I'm going. This, uh... But they don't have a mask this mandate town, in Silent Hill. There's something They probably wrong should with, with all this fog around. It's kind of hard to explain, but Is it dangerous? Maybe. And it's not just the fog either. Okay, it's... I got it. I'll be careful. I'm not lying. No. Nah, you're lying. I believe you. It's just I guess I really don't care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going to town either way. Yeah. But why? Fucking try and stop me. I'm looking for someone. Who, who, who is it? Someone very important to me. I'd do anything if I could be with her again. Me too. I'm looking for my mama. I, I mean my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here, but... 
I can't find them either. Uh, I'm sorry. It's not your no, problem. I, I hope you find them. Yeah, you too. Totally normal human interaction. <laughs> Okay, so you're saying you think I should run back and see if... No, I, I think I'm weapon. wrong. It's maybe... At, I think it's after you get to Silent okay. Hill. I just looked, For some reason, I thought it was right to the left of your car. Gotcha. But I think you would have noticed a big-ass tunnel. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there was a big-ass tunnel. fog is super intense which is why it's super weird if you play the ps3 versions of this game <laughs> just because they took it away there's like no fog in them Man. it's so crazy to like dumb shit people do sometime when they like remake or remaster games because like the like I know that the fog is there like they the reason they put it there is just because the PS2 could process everything so it's to like hide stuff that it can't process but at the same time like it was a brilliant way of turning a weakness into a strength and the choice to remove it just seems dumb well, I don't think it was done on purpose. The fog? N no, the, the removal of the fog in the re in the re-release. It was they, a bug. They just never play tested it. <laughs> I think they just kind of released it and didn't give a shit because there's also a lot of other problems. Mm. Gotcha. Well, the fog has definitely got me completely lost already. Good, but we know we're playing it right then. One of these is the path that I came on, and I can't tell. I don't think this is the one you came in on. Okay. I don't remember there being a brick wall, but... I, I did not say the path there. that I came in on. No comment. <laughs> I, I don't get what you're doing when you say that. Because I said the path that I came on. Uh, oh, okay. I don't know. Dumb bit. Hey. If any moment's going to be your last, there's no reason to not just... Jizz. <laughs> I'd probably let him blend in way more with all the weird sexual assault monsters here. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, he's one of us. Silent Hill Ranch. Can I go He's in? He's the sticky walker. Oh man, we need to get Will to drink some Silent Hill Ranch. <laughs> I bet Will's down for that. But we should probably ask later when he goes to bed and isn't able to do <laughs> voice his opinions. If he doesn't say no, he's complicit. Yeah, he already said no. He didn't say no hard enough. Yeah. And he also didn't say no when we asked later at like 8.30. Okay, I mean, you said no now, but opinions can change. Once you learn how smooth and at the same time overly chunky Silent Hill Ranch is. Mm -hmm. I'll call these video game barrels. that 
that sound? The rusty gate opening sound. Yeah. You know, as janky as tank controls are, I honestly, at least so far, think these are still better than the controls from 4. They're tank controls, but at least so far, they feel consistent in the way that they work. Whereas the ones in 4, it was just like they would randomly change how they worked. With no apparent yeah, rhyme or reason. Problem. This street does not look big enough for two-way traffic. Yeah, I concur. Unless it's exclusively mopeds. And no, it's exclusively James's. <laughs> it's a two-way street if you're a James Sunderland. Is that what you're saying? No, just James. Just, like a, no, just like any James, James Dean. Yes. Uh, one half of Team Rocket. Mm -hmm. Up until they do James fight. Mm -hmm. And then this will be a single single use road. Yeah. There's no way this game won't purposely direct you to go get the board and the radio. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. Like you'd think it. I feel like I'll find him. Can I take this shovel? Nope. Or if I can, I'm hitting the wrong button for it. You've interacted with stuff before. Yeah. I will say 100% if this is me in real life, I'm already out of this town. Like, there's fog and no one is here. Except for a weird lady in a graveyard. What more do you need? <laughs> oh, and now there's blood. Blood Street. Trevor. Not yet. We're going to hopefully beat it tomorrow. Then I can finally get a haircut and break this wolfman curse. And until Trevor pre-orders nine for you. Well, oh no. <laughs> It'll be years before you cut your hair. Well, luckily there isn't a Silent Hill, not a Silent Hill, a Resident Evil 9 yet, so... Okay, it wants me to chase down the monster, so I guess we're gonna go... and get hooked by a monster. But I'm super excited to play more. As long as I don't have to knock out one of my teeth with an ice skate. I've never seen the movie. Does he knock out one of his teeth with an ice skate? Yeah, he he sees it as like a cavity in like one of his molars, and he uses a rock and an ice skate to knock it out of his mouth. Ugh. I'm not into that. Neither was he. I know he had a best friend that was a volleyball. 
mostly just because of the <laughs> bit from Last Man on Earth, which was just really funny. That was a great show. I wish it had not gotten cancelled. Oh, did it actually get cancelled? I thought it just did. Yeah, I think it got cancelled. Because, like, the thing it ended on was definitely a cliffhanger. This seems like a bad sign. That the street just ends in oblivion. Yep. Some clan figures are going to show up. Yep. Are those the pterodactyl ones? Ugh, pulled it with pliers. Ugh, no, I'm out. Pterodactyl? No, those are the cliff racers. Mm. And those aren't from Oblivion. Uh, cliff ra uh, the clan fears were the ones that were like bipedal triceratops. Gotcha. I guess I don't have a clear picture of that enemy in my mind. I think they're only in Oblivion, mm. and they would just only be around Oblivion gates or actually in Oblivion gates. Gotcha. Well, this must be the radio. But I feel like that over there is going to be the board that I get. This is the most important piece of equipment in the game. But also, James, fucking look around, you fool. Get out of there! Get out of there! What are you doing? Oh, he ain't got no arms. Yeah. Oh. He ain't got no arms, and also no brain. Yeah. I don't know, it kind of works in Silent Hill. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. What, what are the buttons? You, you, you can run away if you want. I do what? Run away, please. Nope, it says I can't escape right now. Oh. Huh. Okay, you're aiming. Oh. I got blasted. You got skanked. Oh, there we go. Nope. I'm locked on. Now there's no way you can win. What the hell? I feel like I was seeing some talk about them maybe doing it. Yes, yeah. I've I've heard that they plan to re-re-release these games, but less shitty. But the problem is, like, they're missing the source code, so they would yeah. basically have to be remakes. Oh yeah, I've. Oh yeah, a thing. This thing broken? Is this would good chance to get the community back on Konami's side. Hmm. Because uh, their new Fatal Frame game they announced the? came out. I'd better take it anyway. I might and, need uh, it. And it was a pachinko machine. <laughs> Oof. Oh, Konami. Why do you have to suck so hard? Oh, are you bleeding? I got hit once, so maybe... I'll check your status. Uh, that's a map. So we'll start. Start or select, I think. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you are mildly damaged. What tells you that I'm damaged? Just that that's... The status. Because they're static. Okay. And it would get. And when you're at full health, it should be like completely normal, and then it'll get more staticky, and then it'll start getting like red on it. Gotcha. Well, at least I know Maybe now. Full health is great. Hmm? Oh, nothing. I was going to say, I just think at full health, it might actually have a green tint as well. Gotcha. Yeah, just did your own taxes. Man, doing your own taxes fucking sucks. I have always made 
a small enough money that I'm able to do TurboTax for free, which is really nice. Yep. I think I finished my taxes in the first week of February. Yeah, I did mine, like, pretty much as soon as I could, too. Uh -oh. I did mine so early I couldn't okay. even finish them because they had finished the making the document that I needed. Yeah. Well, I thought taxes this year weren't due till July. I think they've been delaying them, like, multiple, t yeah, multiple extensions, partially because of COVID and partially just because the IRS is so fucking behind. Oh, it was May 17th. I could be, yeah, I'm stupid. I thought for some reason it wouldn't be until July. No, 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 no. You guys get away from me. Oh, God. Your yelling noise is slowing down the game. Oh, okay. So it was for uh, for Oklahoma. The taxes aren't due until the middle of June. Mm, oh, like the state one. Oh god. Oh no no no. Fucking get away from me. Oh you goddamn piece of shit. Oh my god. How are you gonna come out from under a car like that? Ah, uh, stay down. Um, I think if you hit the attack button without aiming when they're on the ground, you'll just do a stomp attack that kills them. Gotcha. Yeah, I owed, like, 500-something dollars in taxes. But yeah, I mean, everyone got lower federal this year pretty much universally because Trump, like, changed the way that they do withholdings. So, like, yeah, so pretty much, like, everyone got less than they were expecting. But I got a stimulus check, so that was nice. Yeah. It's good to get a stimulus check. Just happy you didn't have to owe. Yeah, for sure. I've had to pay every year since I left bank first. Mm. Yeah, but it, I mean, you're like a contractor, though, right? So you pre do you even have like withholdings taken out? No, no. So, so that makes thing. sense. Yeah. yeah. Kind of annoying, but no, no. What is Hopefully, that I'll die soon. Won't have to worry about it. Forever in place of the games with me. I mean, after we beat this and Silent Hill 2, I mean, and uh, Dead Space 2, we've played all the spooky games and I can finally die. I picked up Dead Space 1 and 2, actually. Cause it's been By how you've played Dead Space 1. Yeah, but I mean, I played it in college, so I, like, don't remember a lot of what happened. Oh. Okay, apartment is to the right. I'm pretty excited for the Dead Space spiritual successor that's coming out. There we are. What's that? Uh, I don't know. It's, just, it's made by, like, a lot of ex-Visceral employees, and it's... I, I don't remember. I'll have to look it up. Uh, Callisto Protocol. But it's like a same sort of, sort of thing, where it's like... Oh, no, 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 spookers no, 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 no. in space. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, these guys fucking stop coming out from under cars. It will never stop coming out from cars. Get away from me. Where is this apartment? I'm I'm so happy that this is the experience <laughs> that is happening. It's, I was a little nervous when you're like, ah, I'm gonna go fight everything, and I was like, oh, that's gonna be rough. Okay, I think I was going the wrong way. Also, 
everyone else making survival horror, this is how you do combat in survival horror games. No, stop making that noise. Fucking stop it. Where are you? Stop. I just ran past the apartment. Did I? I think it was that building on the corner that had like a, a canopy. This one? Because I tried clicking on the door here. Oh, is this it? Never mind. But hey, I found okay. your handgun bullets, handgun so that's bullets. cool. Uh, well, I'm dead. Was there... How... Like... Oh, he's... Oh, yeah, this game... It's head tracking is the most important thing. Gotcha. So, if you see James turn his head in any direction aside from forward, keep moving in that direction. Okay. Because there, there aren't, like, twinkly things on the ground to be like, here's a pickup. Yeah. Ooh, stop spraying poison at me. Just some, some skank stuff. That's fine. Oh, thank God, an English streamer. Hey, what's up, Kurt? Kurt F91? How's it going? Oh, nope, nope, nope. Get away from me, bug. I don't like you. Is it hurting me? I think it's hurting me. I think it is hurting you. Yeah, there we go, the stomp. Okay, so that was not the way into the apartment. Yeah, we hope you're doing well today, Kurt. Well, welcome. Who, who, what yeah. nationalities of people are usually playing Silent Hill? Is this game like super popular somewhere overseas? That isn't Japan, I guess. It's a beloved game. Does red mean I'm in danger and need to eat my healing pack? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing You're well. You're probably like a... We are doing pretty good. Yeah. Oh, maybe full health still has the static. I thought full health was like a perfect There's clear like a, image. A briefcase here too. Can I pick that up? Oh no, it's the phone book. And I just didn't recognize what a phone book was. Those are ancient dead texts. They are like if I was five or ten years younger than me, I probably would have never seen a phone book. Why are none of these buildings an apartment? Did I misread the map? I'm gonna say probably. Let's see. Cause oh, I'm there, the center. and I went, I went down alongside that. So is it that I have to go through the pet center or the or the Lucky Jade restaurant to get there? Maybe, what is the which apartment is it for? Oh, good. Are there multiple apartments? Yes. Oh. There's at least two here. I've been trying to get. Well, they're both in the same area, right? There's a Woodside apartment and a Blue Creek apartment, and they're right next to each other. Can you like go in that space between the Lucky Jade restaurant and the Pet Center? Is that supposed to be like an alleyway? Let's find out. So there's a storefront for a fashion store. There's a fence. Can I break it down? I don't think I can break it down. So yeah, I would say try going through the pet center or the Lucky Jade restaurant. Well, look Worst case scenario, we wind up with, uh, with some dog. Yeah. Lucky Jade is that door that I can't get into. Okay. We'll just rub ourselves on every door here. Okay, stay away from me. Go into the fashion boutique to get fashionable right now. I also gotta 
clean all this vomit from your friend off my jacket at the dry cleaners. Oh my god. Pet Center is not open. When I first saw Pet Center, I thought it said Pet Cemetery, and I was like, mm, no. No, no, no. Nope, it's none of these nice. doors can be entered. Mm. Maybe I, it's just time for me to run around town and rub myself on other doors. And get spooked by more guys coming out from under cars. As, Sounds like their plan. Yeah. As guys are wont to do. I mean, you have the god-killing weapon of piece of wood, so nothing can stop you. <laughs> oh, I hate that you move in that way. I hate the way you move. Ba -da -ba. It's my song. Oh god. Alright. It's, it's a good song. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, maybe we just like found a key earlier than we were supposed to. That does not seem impossible to me. Is there somewhere that it tells me what my objective is right now? I don't know. Let's look here in so portable radio. When was the last time you saved? It's since we found that well at the start. I haven't found any other save spots. Okay. There, there should be one uh, on Vish Street or Vish Road. Vish Road? Or Vish Ship. Or Vishesh Road. Let's see. I'm seeing Harris Street, it's Saul Street, Neely Street, Sanders, Lindsay, Katz. Top right of the map. Oh, Vishesh. Got it. Okay. Yeah, you actually you ran past a save point and some healing items on the way to getting the radio in the wooden plank. Gotcha. guys not please so it's over here somewhere no oh, it's behind me Ugh. Oh, why Somewhere here on Vichess Street. Right here. Yep, right there. Anyone like beer in Silent Hill? I do like Silent Hill. I used to like beer. I can't drink it anymore because it gives me terrible nightmare heartburn. But such is my lot in life to be plagued by a horrible nightmare heartburn. There should be a health drink or something around here. Oh, he was just looking at something. He was? Yeah. Thank it. you for the follow, Kurt. Thank you, indeed. We really appreciate it. Oh, oh you, I you're see looking the at the drink. Ha ha. <laughs> well, we try to be chill. When I'm not making too many terror noises. <laughs> well, we appreciate it. Wait, yeah. is the the key you have called the apartment gate key? Um, is there a gate we need to find in front of the Woodside Apartments? Maybe. Let's see. Oh, it is apartment gate key. You're right. Is there a note on it? Yeah, it says Wood Bow Department. Okay. Okay. Hands you a high kick. Nice. <laughs> huh. 
Heineken and uh, Blue Moon are two beers that I can handle. Otherwise, they usually just sit in my mouth too hard and I'm like, oh god. I don't remember liking Heineken. I like mixing Heineken with some yeah. Irish cream. Get away from me. No, thank you. We uh, did a drive around to go to Will's new workplace today, and we had to drive through a whole bunch of small towns. Mm -hmm. And, like, every Mexican restaurant was just, like, having 99 cent Taco Tuesday deals. And I oh, wanted. Man. Oh, man. I wanted tacos so bad. Tacos are pretty good. I don't think I have ever met a taco that I did not like. School tacos are pretty gross. <laughs> yeah, I guess I, I was always a homelunch kid, so I never had to live through school tacos. Yeah, yeah, growing up, we were on, like, assisted lunch program, so I had to eat a bunch of school lunch. It's gross. More a fan of the darker beers. Man. The one I remember really <laughs> liking... God, why can't I remember the name of it right now? It was like a lighter beer, but they had one that was like cactus flavored that I really liked. Whoa. What? I think there's probably going to be like a metal gate that you can open. Maybe. I was hoping it would be that one. But I think you're running away from the apartments. Well, I thought that maybe there would be a gate along here. No, it should be, like, right in front of the apartments on Cat Street. Okay. Evan brought home this vanilla porter one time, and that was really good. I do like... Oh, stop, stop crawling out from under cars. I do like vanilla flavor. Aha, wait. Lock is broken and it can't open. Damn you, lock! Can I just crawl between here? Nope. That technology does not exist. How about here? I'm in! Yeah! Check around and see what I can find. Probably gonna be goop. Be goop? Oh yeah. no. I don't wanna buy any products from Gwyneth Paltrow. Well, then you're gonna have to fight her. Okay. I'm in. Oh, but her main attack is stuffing your mouth with bread until you get bread disease. I assume you're referring to that that like thing that people were memeing on her for where out of context she was saying that her low point of COVID was eating bread. Yes. An oatmeal raisin stout. That immediately sounds kind of unappealing, but because oatmeal raisin is like a cookie that's either really good or very not good, in my opinion, depending on how well it's made. Hmm. Yeah, I've definitely had some good oatmeal raisin. I... I feel like you're probably not going to agree with me here. I would always rather have just oatmeal, though. Oh, I agree with that. Okay, alright. Well, there you go. My personal favorite that I've had is I had a, a chocolate peanut butter one, and that one was amazing. That does I think sound there was a health drink on the ground behind you. All right. Tasted like straight up cinnamon oatmeal raisin cookies. Saw it was like near the little, like planter. Behind Aha, you. Thank, thank you. Ha ha! I can head track good. I think you Resident can. Evil was the first game that really did head tracking. Hmm. That door's locked. 
Well, we found stairs. All we need to do is find burp monsters. Yep. Yeah, and that was like the best moment in four <laughs> when I knocked that really burp monster was. down the stairs and it just kept burping all the way down. <laughs> No, I I hear you walking over there, monster. But you're in my hallway now. This can only end well. I'm gonna stomp on you. Real, oh, you're getting up. You're getting up. Please die. Yeah, get wrecked. There it is. Is he dead now? Does he just keep making noises for eternity? I think he keeps making noises forever. <laughs> okay. But he is dead, Jim. Ugh, I don't like this sound. Well, like, you're gonna you're gonna hear some spooky sounds. Yeah, I know. I hope you're ready to hear a Kiriyama Oka beat the shit out of a ukulele with a hammer. I am ready for that. A television. There's nothing unusual about it. Spooky indeed. Kind of crazy that all of James's uh, Silent Hill problems could just be fixed if he just masturbated a little more. <laughs> it says Henry, Mildred, and Scott. Is that what that says there? Can you not like interact with it? Um. Try again. Yeah, I'm mashing the shit out of the button, but. It does not seem that it can be interacted with. But maybe yeah. this writing on the side of the clock. The large I clock hope so. Is, oh, it's too dark to see it well, so maybe I need to get a light first. That makes sense. I would like to have a light, please. I would assume you get the pocket flashlight in the apartments. Yep, makes sense. Man, is this the first game that had like a pocket light? I don't know. Like the first Time. game ever or the first Silent Hill game to have one? Game ever. It's an interesting question worth looking up. There's much more we can do in there right now. We got to find a packet light. And also some frames. I may have to do some research between now and our next stream to see if there's a way to fix that. Silent Hill is sending all of our frames to the Hell Dimension. Oh no. Aha! A new door approaches. Oh, that would be scary. Ugh, I, this... That looks like a flashlight. Oh, no, 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 we're out of here. We're, no, James, get out of here. Get out, get out, get out. We're done. Oh, God. Uh. Do I need to go back and <laughs> get whatever's in there? I don't think so. I, I think you pretty think I good. got it. Okay. But now we can read stuff. Now we can read stuff. If I can remember how to get back to where I was. Is it apartment 205? Um, I think 205 right, no, is where 205 we just were. Are you looking at a guide? 
Uh, a little bit. I was just looking to make sure. Well, that's fair. I, I appreciate it. You keeping me from going too open. far off the rails. Oh no. I'm not gonna tell you any. There. Oh, this is this just the mannequin room? I don't know. There's something walking around in here. Uh... Kick it ass! Die now, please. It was really polite of this thing to wait to spray you. Yeah. Yeah, it, it had its chance, and it chose not to take it. Oh, there is something out in that room. Yeah. I feel like that is a toilet I would not want to put my butt on. What's the Ooh, worst geez. toilet you've ever seen? Uh... It's definitely a tie between either a gas station I saw at a truck stop mm -hmm. and then one in my dorm bathroom in when I was in a in college in my dorm. Mm. Cuz I remember one time to to get mad revenge on boys for being boys uh some girls from the girls half of the dorm came over and dumped a bunch of used tampons into one of the toilets. Okay. Weird power I move. was not I was not emotionally oh, prepared for that. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know if it was a bunch of girls or one, I just remember coming out and uh, people were just all outside around the bathroom and were like, What's going on? And they're like someone's in trouble. Yeah. I can't I think all that blood was from that guy. Yeah, my status looks good. I also remember going to a truck stop on a family vacation, and it looked like instead of sitting on the toilet, someone had, like, crouched and aimed at the toilet and just shit all over it. Yeah. Like, the seat, the bowl, the walls. Mm -hmm. Do you remember was... in Stillwater that little, like, strip mall that was... It was, like, sort of... It was really close to the high school and in kind of like like a pit, sort of. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, the one that had that pizza place I never went to, like an all-American yeah. pizza. Mm -hmm. that, like, yeah, yeah. So the Dollar General there had by far the most horrific bathroom that I have ever seen. Because <laughs> I remember when, like, my dad had brought my brother and I there when we were kids and one of us had to go to the bathroom. And, like, it wasn't a bathroom that was just, like, open to the public, but you could ask and they would let you go in. And mm -hmm. it must have been months since the last time anyone had cleaned that bathroom. And, like, not only that, someone had been going out of their way to make it a horrific nightmare. <laughs> so, like, there were multiple places where someone had... Why like, do you keep running back and forth between these two rooms? I'm just lost. There were multiple places where someone had, like, not even wiped their ass with toilet paper. They had, like, taken a giant gob of shit and then stuck toilet paper in it and then, like, stuck it on the ceiling or the walls. And it was just like that everywhere. I feel pretty confident you've probably got everything. Yeah, I think so. I was kind of just looking for the door out. Just like when you were in that Dollar General? Yep. I see you down there, guy. I see what you're up to. I wonder if it's worth it to go down there. Maybe, if there's a guy guarding it. Yeah, I mean, you... You've been pretty good about knocking dudes down before they get to whoop on you, so... Yeah. You got this. Ah! Uh, oh! Oh, took a swing at Oh, fuck, there's two of them. There's two of them. There's two of them. This might be a fight we can't win unless I can kill him fast. Die fast, please. I need you to be dead now. Okay, you're dead. Now it's your friend's turn. Prepare to die. I could hear him gearing up to 
Yeah. all over me. Yep. Oh, no, no, no. You... no don't do that crawl. Ever. Charging up that spirit bomb. Yep. I, I have to say, I forgot how, like, wimpy his step attack is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not really a... A... It's not the, like, one from Dead Space. No, it's like he's, like, wiping dirt off his shoe, and the monster is so alarmed by this that it dies. Yeah. Well, there were no openable doors down there. But you didn't take any damage, and you asserted dominance. So that is true. Maybe the other monsters will remember this lesson. Probably not, though. Let's see. I feel like I does it show where you can save on the map? Is the clock? Oh, it was it was two oh eight. Two oh eight, yeah, because it's got the that's what the clock is. I think there was a save downstairs, right? Yeah, right when you came in. Yeah, I'm gonna go and save. I think this is the sounds door. like a plan. I totally forgot Assassin's Creed. Oh, no, 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 this is not the door. Oh, swing your weapon, James. Oh, I remember I got the flashlight. It totally is. But we came back, we beat this guy, and now we can look around and find the nothing else that's here. Hey. Sewing machine. There's nothing special but about it. The true treasure is the journey along the way. Indeed. So are you going to download the Nintendo calculator onto your Switch? <laughs> Probably not. Oh, oh man. man. Yep, there's nothing else here. Unless there's something in here. Uh, there is not. I really hope this next Dragon Quest game isn't like a spin-off for the Switch. Mm. Yeah, it's just a calculator app. Oh, the stairwell I need is way the fuck down there. Okay. What, Will? Sometimes you need to do math while playing Mario Odyssey. I mean, if you don't have a scientific calculator, maybe it's a good deal. I don't know. I mean, I, I have no need for an actual scientific calculator. Because I'm not doing any complicated math again, ever. But never ever. Hmm. There's a trash chute. There's some kind of strange garbage stuck in the hole. So I guess I hey, need are you gonna? To... Am I gonna what? Yeah. Are you gonna pre-order the 12-inch Genshin Impact Paimon plushie? I don't think I'm gonna order the plushie. I did pre-order the um, Klee figure. Oh. That I'm excited for. I actually, there's a figure that just came up for pre-order today that I immediately pre-ordered because I'm very excited for it, which is a oh. new Mary Sautome from Kakagurui. Oh, a figure. Sorry, mm -hmm. I thought you said game, and I was like, oh. well, what game did you pre-order? But I I can see you getting that figure. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. You you should like look up M Y T H E O S is the name of the company. It's like a weirdly elaborate, super cool one though. It, is it Mythos? Yeah. Yeah. If you look up that and then Mary Sautome, that should show you the figure. Is it the one where she's laying on a poker table or something? Yeah. Because it just has, like, a ton of really cool detail to it. But also, I love that show. I need to rewatch it with this comic I'm working on. Yeah. And, yeah, I have That's both of the Kotobukiya figures from that show, which are some of my favorites. 
I would say I would order any figure from that show, but I did skip on the Yumiko Bunny figure, so I guess I wouldn't order any figure from that show. Wait, room 202 says it's open. Did I already go in there? Nope, it's not open. Oh, it's locked, but it's not perma-locked. Got it. Oh, good news. There are, uh, wait, no, those are Nendoroids. Uh, I was trying to find if there were Funko Pop Kakuguru-y things that I could get you for your birthday. Ugh, please don't. Oh, uh, you wouldn't You wouldn't put that in your room if I got it for you? I mean, that's the thing is, like, if you gave it to me as a gift, I would feel, like, obligated to. Yes. Curse you with obligation. <laughs> But no, they just have Nendoroids. Yeah, I actually, I don't know. I, I haven't picked up the Nendoroids from it. Maybe I should. But I think they're a little I, bit overpriced on the aftermarket now. Maybe yeah, the one they, they were selling was like 50 point. bucks. Really? Are you like, where is it 50 bucks at? A Walmart on Walmart.com. Oh. Fifty is a good price for a Nendoroid. I thought that one was like going for a hundred at this point on the aftermarket. So what's this? Now I can look at it. Henry Mildred Scott. Are you really gonna get a season three? I don't know. It would be cool, even if season two was not as good as one, but there's writing on the clock. The scars from the past shall remove the nail that stops time. I will push the clock. Get pushed on clock. No matter how hard I push, it doesn't move. It's like it's stuck to the ground. So I gotta look at the front of the clock, and there's gonna be a way to adjust the time. So now the trick is to figure out which time I'm supposed to set it to, right? Or 20, baby. <laughs> it stopped at 5.53 and 15 seconds. The plate is closed and is locked. I can't touch the needles of the clock like this. So I also need to find something to help me take the face off of the clock, I guess. Yeah, you may just want to look around. Look around the apartment? Oh, no, because well, you still haven't even gone to the third floor. Oh, there's a third floor. Can I look at this book now? The note, it must be from the person who lived here. Three needles stand of three different heights, the fat, the tall, and the thin. From slow to fast, they move to the right. Scott rests not on three, but fifteen. Okay, so that and the things on the wall give me the clue to where I need to set the clock. Yes. But now I need to find a way to peel the face off of the clock. Got a Nicholas Cage this clock. Is that Face Off? Yes. Just watch it. Just watch Face Off. I should watch Face Off someday. That would have been a fun one to do for the podcast when that was a thing. Like, I feel like it wouldn't be as much fun for me right now because I would just be like watching it by myself, you know? Because mm -hmm. um, I don't well, think well, I could convince my there. roommates to watch it. Yeah, when you get up here, we can all be buds and watch Face Off. Oh, I don't like that noise. I don't like that noise. 
it's fine. Mm, is it? What does he see? Oh, can we stop breathing so loud, please? Lock is broken. He's walking. What? Past a bunch of items. Did I? Yeah, when you came out of the door to the top, you started looking down at the ground. There's a key on the ground. It's on the other side of the bar. Oh, if I stretch my arm out, I just might be able to reach it. All right. I'm going to regret this. <laughs> oh, oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. Oh, okay, no, we don't need that key. Leave it there. Leave it there. Oh, you fuck. Ow! What the hell? Bruh. <laughs> hey, wait! Damn it. This girl's rude. I feel like there's a moment in, like, every Silent Hill game where you're trying to, like, grab something and some shit-ass kid comes by and does shit-ass kid things. Yeah. It could be worse. I was 100% expecting a monster to eat my hand off. I don't think you you will get uh, not gonna get Ethan Song of Horror in this game by picking to do something. Mm. I hope there's a cool thing in this room. Aha! Uh -huh, it looks like there is. Yeah, I know there's a shopping cart there, James. Thank you. Like he wasn't even looking at the cart. Well, what you don't know is James was a cart pusher for a lot of his teenage life, so <laughs> the fact that someone was so rude to take a cart into an apartment building and leave it just yeah. destroys him. There you go. The wall is pockmarked with gunshots. Gonna cook some dinner? Alright, go get you some dinner, bud. Made a, made a bag of frozen cauliflower wings today. But they were all like the perfect size, which never happens. So it was cool. Nice. Usually they give you like at least one or two big old Mondo ones. Where you're like, okay, cool. I'm going to have to cut this 40 times before I can eat it. What? So I should probably eat something today. That would be good. Okay. All right. I think this. I think the gun is the only thing you really get on the third floor. Okay. Am I just gonna shoot At the least... clock face off? No. There. You. There's a thing in one of the rooms. Okay. On the second floor. Got it. I remember it that much because this took me forever until I looked it up before and I was like, oh, damn it. <laughs> oh my god, can you stop making that noise at me? I want to get out of here. Whew. This game has some good sound design. It really does. Is the, the thing to solve the puzzle involved like you you had to come up and have that shit kid kick the key away for stuff to spawn to start solving the puzzle oh down here yes gotcha so now i need to re-examine some rooms i've been to before correct let's see i think all of those but mainly either closed or locked well i think it's actually just the room with the clock in it Oh, just go back to the clock room? I believe so. Okay. So it says clock room is this way. Oh, oh, ugh, no. What was that? Some kind of noise north of here. Yep, and we're never going to go and look at it and find out what it is. It will be a mystery forever, you, and that's you, okay. You love those baby headed enemies in four. Oh, hey, 
bud. Hi. Yeah, I see you there. You just stay over there, okay? I can't I... tell Pyramid Head what to do. You know, I'm just suggesting that he seems like he's already having a nice time hanging out over there. Oh no, the TV's on now. And there there's goes a whole thing brains. right there. Yeah. Hey, bud. to room 202. Oh! Alright. Off to room 202. Where everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. Will it? My one and only for now <laughs> pro MLG skills uh Advice will be just don't use the handgun on anything except bosses. Okay. Unless you were just absolutely trapped. But what if I'm walking down a hallway and there's an enemy there and it scares me? Then use your uh, runaway powers. What if I need to go past it? Then use the runaway at something powers and then just a uh, shake and bake on it. What if it's like doing the splits so that I can't run past it without kind of rudely shoving it? Uh, then turn off the PlayStation and play more Pokemon Snap. <laughs> Got a health drink over here. I don't think on normal there's any sort of cap on how many healing items you can carry. How's your health doing? Um, keep pressing Y to look at the inventory. Uh, staticky? There's no red, so I think you're fine. Oh, man. It's broken glass on the ground. I also don't like whatever's going on with all the cages in this room. And the bugs. Get out of here, bugs! It does not seem like I can kill the bugs. something I'm missing in here, right? Oh, like in, yes. in the nightmare bedroom. Oh. oh, man. Do I have to put my hand in there? No, you don't have to put your hand in there. Okay, look at this book. I don't think I can look at the book. The body of a dead I butterfly is on the ground. There's nothing else of interest here. dark to tell for sure, but I think there's something on the other side of the hole. Nope, 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 don't do that. That's a bad idea. Oh, I don't like it. I really don't like it. Grab it fast and go. I got a clock key. There you go. Okay. And I think we should save again on the way back. Sounds like a plan. 
Now to solve your first big boy riddle. Yep. I'm looking forward to this riddle. I don't think there's anything as terrible as the Shakespeare riddle from 3. I haven't played 3, so I don't know what that is. I haven't played 3 yet. Yet. I definitely do want to play 3 as well, though. I do remember 3 being quite good. Okay. But that one kind of has a little bit of a problem where it does a lot of referencing back to Silent Hill 1 hmm. that if you don't know, you might be a little confused at times. Gotcha. Does that mean I need to play Silent Hill 1 as well? No. No. So like I think probably the best version of one is Shattered Memories. Oh, was that kind of like a remake of it? Yep. Hmm. Could be worth giving a shot. What's it on? Because it's just that that was on the Wii. It's because in three you're playing as the daughter the dad is looking for in one. Mm -hmm. So he just you just make some references back to it. Gotcha. I think you can still totally play it and like be fine, but Okay. No taking time. So can... short, fat, and tall. Yeah, I was assuming these corresponded to the hands on the clock. So, Henry... No, oh, pen doesn't work. There we go. Henry... Mildred... Scott. go and look at the journal out in the hallway again, because that gave me a clue about where Scott's supposed to go. Let's see. Three needles stand of different heights, the fat, the tall, and the thin. From slow to fast, they move to the right. So I'm s from slow to fast, to the right. Scott rests not on three, but fifteen. Okay. I think I have the pieces to figure this out. What? Oh, nothing. Sorry. I was like, I think I figured out what, like, the like shrouded like what like the meaning of the different things are and I was like that's kind of clever and dumb the meaning of the different things yeah never mind I'm dumb I'll just be quiet okay like you're saying you figured out something related to the puzzle yeah Okay, but can I unlock the clock with the key now, please? Do I, I think this is one of those games where you stand facing the thing. Yeah, and then you use it in your inventory. Gotcha. I used the clock key. Wait, that's what the clock key was for? You couldn't just break it? Nope. We're not hooligans. Okay. Scott's on 15. Slow to fast. Okay. So I'm thinking I know what to do here. Let's see if this works. Oh, 
You're winding back the frames. Oh, was it frame dropping on stream? A little bit. Okay. I did it. The puzzle was not very hard, but that's all right. The, the thing I was thinking I was proud about is the fact that the, the, the initials for the three different names corresponded to hours, minutes, and seconds. Oh. Mm. Clever. I was like, ha-ha. I saw those and was like, is that a reference to a ship or something? Because HMS. Uh, but oh, your, shit, I didn't even think about your that. Your interpretation makes much more sense in this context. Something tells me I'm not going to find a ship in this apartment. Oh, maybe you could find a ship in a bottle. Maybe. Man. If I had, like, infinity time, I feel like I would enjoy making a ship in a bottle. I can see you being into that. I remember when I was younger being kind of into building like models of cars and planes with my dad. Yeah. Since he refused to play video games or watch anime with me. <laughs> oh, you're on this side of the gate now. Yep, where Pyramid Head was hanging out. Oh, shit, okay. That was on the so... third floor is where that idiot kid was. Yeah. Exit the front door and have the stairs. Let's try and go downstairs first. Or should I go upstairs first? Oh, it's whatever. I was just scrolling to keep sure that we're in this walkthrough where we are supposed to be in case anything goes crazy. Well, that door is locked, keeping... so upstairs it is. Keep the puzzle solutions all covered in black so I don't get spoiled. He's looking at something. Oh, James was? Yeah. I am very bad at paying attention to that. You really need to watch for his head looks, because that's how you survive. There's something on the ground right in front of you, it looks like. Bullets. Nice. How many bullets do you have? I have a shitload. Yeah, I got 40, plus 10 in the gun. Nice. That's enough to kill one half of a boss. <laughs> or two whole monsters. I don't think there's like a Resident Evil style like crit system. Mm -hmm. I don't know what Will's making, but I smell like Popeye's biscuits. Yeah. There's a chance I'm having a stroke. <laughs> that would be good to not have a stroke. I hope it's biscuits and not a stroke. Oh man, I know what this noise means. Oh, no, no, don't. Oh, don't be doing that, guys. <gasps> Oh, that's pure yep. head. Y'all are into some real weird shit up in Silent Hill. Do you not have fingers? Yeah. You're using 
wasting up all my bullets. What are you doing? It's pretty impressive he was able to shoot through all those slats. Yeah. Also, I don't feel like... I guess maybe I don't know Pyramid Head's whole deal well enough. I don't feel like that would stop him, though. Well, I I think Pyramid Head is a thing that you fight a bunch. Mm -hmm. Like, you actually can down him. He just keeps coming back. Gotcha. I guess He's I was just saying, like, like a... it seems weird to me that he was like, Oh, you fired a gun at me? Okay, I'm leaving. Yeah, he's not like the same like sort of vibe as like a nemesis or a Mr. X. Gotcha. <clears throat> Nailed it. I do definitely miss the blue room system from Resident Evil. Blue room system? Where like when you know that you've found all the shit in a room because it turned blue. Oh, yes. That is, like, the best thing in survival horror games ever. It's pretty great. I know you're here. I hear you. Get ready for a spanker in. Me or them? Yes. Oh no. Okay. We're just gonna let you hang out down there. That door's locked. Does your map tell you if doors are locked before even touching them? Uh. Well, let's find out on 305, but I don't think so. That I could be wrong. I mean, it makes sense if it did, but I was just wondering. Oh, no, 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 oh god! Oh, why did I start the map? Oh, it did show me 305 without me touching it. But it did change after I walked walk. by it, so I at least had to walk close to it. Okay. Cool. But also, I picked the very wrong time to open the map. Oh god. Then I got kicked on. The punishment. So you have all those I could not hear the thing over the sound. Oh, I was just saying, at least you have all those health drinks. Yeah. Do you know the trick to tell if they're dead? The static goes away? Yes. I know that's pretty self-evident, but at the same time, I I have had friends who would play this, and they would just keep hitting it, because it made no... Oh, wait. Can you... He was looking at the body. Can you, like, investigate it? Let's see. It doesn't seem no, like it. He's not looking at it anymore. Oh yeah, Will's making bacon tonight. What's bacon? Bacon was this dish I found. Um, it was made by Chef John, the my favorite YouTube chef. Where it's basically just a creamed corn with bacon and jalapenos and a lot of cheese that you broil in the oven. Gotcha. In a big skillet, it's delicious. If you like corn bacon and cheese yeah i was like on board for the corn and bacon and then the cheese and jalapenos i was like oh never mind i'm out but understandable a thing Just went for papa john's to send me another 50 percent off coupon I got canned juice. 
Nice. It's not chocolate milk, but whatever. Yeah. It's been a long ass time since I've had juice. Mm. Oh, did the safe point disappear? I think this is like, this is the other side of the apartment. Oh, yeah. I forgot. But yeah, now the door to there is unlocked. So I can run back to the side with the save point. And I've got a key for a courtyard now. So maybe what I need to be doing is looking around out here for a courtyard. Okay, I'm going to save on the way. Never a bad idea to save. Yeah, yeah. Unless you're playing a game with limited saves. Yeah. Are there any other games that you can think of other than Resident Evil that do that, though? Um. I guess maybe, like... Maybe you could count games that only have auto saves, but that doesn't really feel like it counts to me. One that had it, but then it kind of got patched to be less annoying was um, Kingdom Come Deliverance had limited saves, where the only way to save was to drink uh, Savior Snaps. Mm -hmm. But then they changed it where, like, aside from save your schnapps, you can also save by um, sleeping in a bed you own. Gotcha. Because, yeah, that but, was, like, like a you big-ass were... game, wasn't it? Yes, so that still didn't really change much, but it... but at the same time, like, I finished the game with an ass-load of save your schnapps. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. But, maybe but when the game you... first launched... Yeah, like, it was just save your snobs. Gotcha. And yeah, I mean, like, maybe if you hadn't had a bed, then it would have taken more. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the game did not show me that door until I clicked on it. So this hallway is all locked. That door is boarded up. I think I maybe have a vague idea of where I need to go. Let's see if I can actually navigate there, though. Just let me know if you need any directions. Hey, bud. All right. You're going down. Oh, damn it. Why didn't you lift up your board faster, James? You got puke on your face now. Oh, he's looking down at something again. I wonder if that's him looking down at the body for just a little bit to just like make sure it's dead sort of thing. Could be. Oh, we even got into room 303. Okay, yeah, we'll go check out 303, and then we're going back to those stairs up at the top there, because that is where I think the way forward is going to be. <laughs> Another 15-pack oh. of Heineken. That's a lot of Heineken. That is a lot of How is your health, bro? Me? Yes, because you've been sprayed twice. Now. I have been sprayed twice. We're not in red, though. Oh, that's. I think that is red. It is? I mean, I think if you drink a health... Because the health drink does not heal nearly as much as the first aid kit, so, like... There we go. Yeah, that was a change. Okay. Well, there you go. Oh, it's a laundry room. Ooh, he's looking at a bunch of stuff. Have you ever lived in an apartment complex with a laundry room? 
Uh, I mean, when I lived at OSU, there was a laundry room in the basement. Mm. Remember, the last apartment complex I lived in with Jared. Oh, it's the key on the ground, I bet. Oh, there's a key on the ground? Remember that little girl just kicked the key away from you when you tried to grab it last time? Oh, yeah. Where is it? It's He's looking at something on the ground. And I'm just not... I think it's against that wall. Because he like, keeps pivoting his head, so I guess just keep walking and mashing the use key. Hey, James. Oh, is your flashlight off? How do I turn it on? Oh, it's, you it's can easy. select it in your inventory. Uh, there, we there we go. Well, now I, now I have a key. And you know what? I probably needed that key. The fire escape key. Oh, we passed by room three hundred three. Oh, no, 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 I hear you. I hear you. Get him. Fuck are you? Get out here and face me like a man. Stop peeking off. I would... I would not fight a man when we even know. That's a hard word to say when you're drunk. <laughs> oh, he died fast. Yeah, James is strong. James Smash. Looks like there's a health kit out in the living room. Oh, we'll head back in that direction and finish checking out this room, though. Look in the mystery toilet. I don't want to look in a mystery toilet. That does indeed appear to be a first aid kit. Nice. Okay. And then... Wait, are there two bathrooms in here, or was the other one a closet? Maybe the other one was a closet. Well, the fact that there was a mystery toilet in the closet is extra concerning. He's looking at something. That appears to be bullets. Heck yeah. Bullets are a good thing to have. We'll be ready for whatever boss comes our way. Just please don't be that room full of rotating flat things from 4 again. Is there a kitchen? Uh... Yes, there is a kitchen, and it has a health drink. Thank you. Hell yeah. Like, almost every kitchen that has had something has had a health drink in it. Hmm. Okay. So now I go back that way. mysteries await here on the bottom floor oh well. the most spankable of all floors I was expecting one of my keys to work on that doors but it did not there are other locked doors that I'm aware of existing there See, were there some here? There was, and that one at the end seems like it could be a fire escape. So let's go this way. 
I have to go find Will's favorite music artist. I feel like you're doing a reference to something. I am. But I'm not sure to what. Other than that, it's probably a band that Will really, really loves truly and deeply with all of his heart. There's a pretty popular song that came out not super long ago called Fire Escape by Andrew Dixon McCannon. I have not... Oh, no, 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 I have not heard that song. I remember being on the radio a bunch. Yeah, I never listened to the radio, so... Do I have to run past the pyramid head? Uh, or was I just imagining there being a pyramid head? Probably. I heard the music and I was like, that's a pyramid head and I'm out. You got pranked. I did get pranked. That would be really funny if someone made a mod for this game. Where Pyramid Head catches you and then he just pulls off the mask. It's like, you got pranked, bro. I have used the fire escape key. There's no fire what? escape outside the door. Maybe they knocked it down when they built the building next door. I think I can get into the building next door if I go through the window in front of me. You sounded like you were about to say something. Uh, no, I was just like, oh man, that's crazy. Uh oh. What's up? Yeah, you just left, you just left the level into a new zone. Was I not supposed to? I mean, you didn't use the courtyard key. I mean, maybe I use it from here. You, no, I mean, like, you're in a different, like, you just moved into a different level, like, a okay. whole new zone. So are you confirming for me that I need to be back here to use the courtyard key? Because it could yes. just be uh, something I can't get to yet, but but if you're saying yes, then I will continue to explore. Let's see. So it's not here. It doesn't seem like I can move between different floors until I go there, right? on the map. Uh, Eastern entrance, first floor. Uh, my guess is the, the courtyard key, you use it on like the, the bottom area on the right side of the building. Bottom area on the right side? Like when you, because you came out of that one area where I was like, oh, they moved the save point. There was a door in the back that was locked. I'm pretty sure I checked that one, but. And I thought that was after I already had the courtyard key, but maybe not. Well. I'll go back in that direction, though. Raise the back door on the like normal area on the there's a definitely a door on the first floor of one of the two that is locked yeah okay aha Actually, maybe I should save. Just bam. 
Let's go back and save real quick. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Nope. But I think I'm going to make some burritos. All right. I will be back in a bit. I'm going to get the oven preheated. Okay. I will be here getting spooped on. All right. Courtyard time. Let's see what nightmares await me. Walk slowly down. Oh, I hear static. Hey, guy. You want to just stay over there? Okay, so I can go in here, but I should probably explore the courtyard. Oh, no, 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 get away from me. Ah! Hear you. Okay. I wish I had camera technology to change where I was looking. It'd be nice if he was stuck over there. Almost sounds like he is. Damn my willingness to explore. Oh, I hate this. I really hate this. Are they all stuck in the pool? What if I can hit him from up here? I it doesn't seem like I can hit them from up here. But it doesn't seem Oh I can. Oh fuck! Oh fuck, oh fuck, I made a mistake. Oh god. There's gotta be something in the pool if there's three guys guarding it. There's gotta be in the pool, right? I got the safe coin, and I got PBR. I'm gonna take the ladder out. I cannot take the ladder out. I do not have ladder technology. Okay. Back out. Safe and sound. And the idiots live in the pool forever. I can't go this way. I also do not have stepping over a deck chair technology. It would seem though that I have fall in the pool technology. Is there anything over here? No. No, 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 why, 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 oh god, that went badly, controller's vibrating a little bit, tell me that I'm in the red zone. Well, when CJ comes back, no one tells him about that. He doesn't need to know that. Let's see if there's anything else out here. His head just keep looking like things. Like I'm in the book version of The Shining, where it's hedge animals that come to life instead of a hedge mate. Pitch maze, which is not as good as the Cooper version in my opinion, even though I do like that book a lot. Alright, I think we've explored the courtyard, we've gotten puked on a lot. Oh fuck, I forgot there was a guy in here. Got too relaxed. Okay. Keep going down, guys. Ah, uh, you missed me. Yes. God, oh, there's more of you! Oh. You guys, stop! Stop! Oh no, oh no. Oh, please swing fast, damn it. No 
one tells CJ about the secret. Still partying? Yeah, I definitely didn't take a lot of damage while you were gone. That's good. That would be really embarrassing if you did. Mm -hmm. I definitely didn't fall into a swimming pool full of monsters more than once. That's good. Did you get the thing in the swimming pool? I did get the thing in the swimming pool that I didn't fall into. That's good. Who is over there having a stomach flu, though? Ugh. I remember who. Ugh. Is it this guy? It's not this guy. Is it someone in a, another uh, it, room? Yeah, he's in the toilet room. In the toilet room? Like, it's in this apartment. There's a bathroom. Oh, no. I don't want to find that bathroom. Hey, bud. Hey, steady, Eddie. You need a belt, my guy. I use more bellies backward hat on. I guess that's true. He looks like a weird combination of like. It wasn't a me. I didn't do it. Five-year-old from this or ten-year-old from the '60s and a frat kid. He was like this when I got here. My, uh, my name's James. You look James like a big ass third grader. <laughs> Eddie. Eddie. <laughs> Who's that dead guy in the kitchen? I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill anybody. It's gonna be like that when you're hungover tomorrow. You're not friends with that red <laughs> pyramid. <laughs> Well, I hope not. Being hungover thing. is not fun. I don't know what you're talking about. Honest. But I did see some weird looking monsters. They scared the hell out of me. So I ran in here. Well, I guess this place isn't too safe either. What happened here anyway? Uh, I, I told you. I don't know. I'm not even Heineken's. from this town. Damn. I just, I just... That's a that lot. might be too many Heinekens. I'm gonna Google how many is too many Heinekens. You too, huh? Something just... Sometimes you, you gotta here. get into it. Right. Uh, yeah, you could say that. Well, whatever it is, I, like I think you better though. get out of here soon. Eddie murdered people. Yeah, you you you're murdered right. Heineken bottles. What about you? <laughs> I'll leave as like soon as I'm done multiple here. Multiple power hours at a time over there. Eddie, be careful. <laughs> James, uh, My, the first result for I how many is too many Heinekens, it's would one Heineken a day classify as a drinking habit? <laughs> Well, we met our bud Eddie. It is a cool game. It is a cool game. I, am... I know I'm definitely someone who can't watch the same game. Yeah. Experience psychosis due to your genetics. That's so good. Yeah. Man. Yeah, mental stuff is rough. My genetics are all just full of autoimmune disorders. Yeah. I might have a lot of heart disease. With our powers combined. <laughs> yep. Heart disease and diabetes. Get that brimly energy. Yeah.
threats OCD and anxiety. Oof. That's a lot. That is a true triple threat. Yeah, we have a, a friend who has OCD and that seems like it's really rough. Thanks for peeking on me. That's okay, this is a survival horror game, so I'm definitely not going to need to have a lot of health later on. Medication suppresses your Tourette's really well. Nice. Well, I'm glad if it's helping with that. No. Having ticks can probably be pretty disruptive. Sightseeing brochure for the town is lying here. <laughs> Welcome to Silent Hill. Silent Hill, a quiet little lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you. Take some time out of your busy schedules and enjoy a nice restful vacation here. Row after row of quaint old houses, a gorgeous mountain landscape, and a lake which shows different sides of its beauty with the passing of the day, from sunrise to late afternoons to sunset. Silent Hill will move you and fill you with a feeling of deep peace. I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last forever. Some people Tourette's want suicide. It's very stressful. Yeah. Yeah, because it seems like there's all sorts of different ticks that people have from it. And some of those could be pretty rough. I was hoping I would be able to get into there. It kind of looked like there was a thing. Extreme OCD have it. Yeah, for sure. Now you're good, man. I gotcha. <laughs> That's good. Mind having a. I do not mind having a mental health chat. realize my mic's been <laughs> I thought you were being kind of quiet. Nope, I was I was here telling Kurt, like, oh. yeah, that's okay, man, you gotta, it's a cool thing to talk about, and yeah. then I was like, hey, Rob, hey, Rob, and then I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, a world without health issues would for sure be a blessing, as would a world where we didn't use health issues as a way to profit. That would also yeah, be nice. I would settle for a world with affordable health care that is actually functional. Yeah. I'm definitely a little scared that the individual mandate is going to be put back in place. Mm. Well, I mean, if you move up to Minnesota, we actually have some, like, legit good state provided health care like, oh, that's cool yeah like i i'm i don't qualify for it anymore but i used to have like free decent health care through the like state's m insure program so 
Hmm. I would definitely like to go to a doctor and get a physical to be told that I'm going to be dead in four years. Profit off long. Yep. 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 Or just making everything ludicrously expensive. That too. Okay, so I've been through the courtyard now. I feel like I may have explored all the stuff here. Was the snake? Yeah, I think the main thing you needed was the coin snake. Okay. Which means I should go back this way. Yeah, he got like. I just remember listening to like Martin Shkreli try and justify his position on a stream that he did where he talked to Destiny. And he was like such a fucking chode about it. <laughs> like... Ugh. I thought it was pretty funny that he tried to get out of prison early so he could help yeah. make a vaccine. <laughs> Today, asshole. Yep. Martin Shkreli, you were not the guy we were looking for. You're less of a genius and more of a non repentant sociopath. I guess all sociopaths would be non repentant, though, wouldn't they? If they were full tilt sociopaths, yes. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Yeah. How uh, nope and out would you be if you had to j go from a doorway in through a window? Uh, like above a second floor yeah yeah I'm out maybe if they're like super close together like if I like can doing that transition I don't know I th I think if I was in a desperate situation that one I can do that one doesn't seem like too bad because it's like he can reach his foot over and get through if I had to like jump or really stretch to do it though then yeah I'm out Looks like there's something stuck. Oh man. Yeah, I'll take it out. Toilet party. Ooh, don't make me watch though. Oh, I hate it. It looks like a wallet. There's some kind of memo in it. 3XX9X4. I don't know if I have a notepad, but I'm going to write it down anyways. We need uh, to find a map. I don't like this room. Something's in here. the memo say so it said three and then there's two arrows pointing right then xx then two arrows pointing left nine two arrows pointing right and then x4 
Could XX be 20? Oh, like they're Roman numerals. Let's give it a shot. So three. And then the last one be 14. Yeah. bolts do you have? We have 120 plus the 10 in the gun. Alright. We're ready to really fuck up a boss. I'm trying to see. Oh, there's a link here. Oh, yeah, like on easy difficulty it just tells you the four numbers you need just normally. Oh, damn it. Stop being so fast. Would you just hit the face with the robots now, please? Let's see if that was worth it. Nope, that door is locked. I could have just run away from you. I'll be ribbing it. All right. I'll lead another. Almost ate two. That would have been bad. You should only eat one. Not that that is advice that I will ever take in real life. I will always eat 40 of whatever you put in front of me, unless I think it's gross. Aha, a door that opens to a stairwell. Let's go back. There's more hallway left to check out. Oh, a door over here. But it's locked. Oh, I do not have a map of this area. Okay. First floor staircase. I'll write that down. Room near one. Oh, damn it. Pin ran out. You 
affect me, Pin. I also really do not love this drumming noise. It's spooking me out. Okay, I've written my note. I think I, oh, oh, what are, what are you? Oh, you're one of the doll monsters. I'm gonna hit you fast before you got a chance to fight that. There we go. It's all about who strikes first inside the hill. That's me, I struck first. You never had a chance. But if you could die now, that would be nice. Thank you. Alright. So that door is locked. Let's try this one. Locked. And locked. I do not like the sounds. That's scaring me. same hallway until <laughs> I find a map. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go up or down the staircase and try and see. You can do it. Welcome back, Will. Unless I ran past the staircase already, I think I might have. It goes well. I definitely haven't taken lots of damage that I didn't need to. Let's try downstairs first. There we go. Yeah. I do feel like I can now go back to what I was saying earlier and say conclusively that these tank controls are way better than the controls from before. I didn't fight everything, but I have fought a lot of things. Nothing in the bookshelf that looks like it would be of any use. Damn it, bookshelf. Fights for the fight god. There's something written on the desk. First lies the seat of he who is peerless, silent and empty, heartless and fearless. Behi beside him sits one who knows the place of the servant is next to the throne. Dozens of feet, yet not a single toe. The one that is hidden beside him doth go. Seducer of dreams, creature of Hades, lying further from man and closer to lady. Men and women, seeing all, heedless to the raven's call. Silent and hidden, the two may be. They be not there for you to see. Return them to whence they would be, and blessing shall descend on thee. I speak thus with the North Star behind me. The birth of the sun is the start of the story. Good Lord. I hope you had that memorized. Yeah. It's a line of five one-inch round depression set into the table. So first step is find five things. Second step is go back to college and get a degree in English. That worked out really well for you, right, CJ? No response? I said, I said, yeah, disheartedly. I did not hear. No. But 
Also, I would like one map, please. Oh my god. Fucking bug thing. I please, damn it. You like I can't even hit it. You love those big, big bad beetleborgs? Like in the N64 days. Were there beetle murderers in the N64 days? I feel like you're referencing something that I don't know. But... James, can you step on it, please? My guy. Oh god, we are very red. Adventure Beetle Racing. Was there a lot of fighting in Adventure Beetle Racing? I mean, yeah, like you get rockets and stuff. Okay, well, there you go. I think I only played it one time at Will's house, and mostly what I remember is that I played it at Will's house. That was like my sister's favorite N64 game, game growing up. Oh, yeah. I should have just shot that beetle. Wait, that was your favorite N64 game, Will? I think he's saying it was his sister's. Oh, okay. Is this cutscene yeah, yeah. broken? I feel like something is supposed to be moving here. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Now things are moving. No, just favorite N64 game. Oh, it's you. Yeah. I'm oh, James. It's the lady from the graveyard. <laughs> yep. Angela. Angela, okay, I don't know what you're planning, but there's always another way. Really? Yeah, I'll need to see if there's a way to make this more stable before next time. You're the same as me. That's good. It's easier just to I don't run. want to make any promises, but I will Besides, see. Besides, is what we deserve. No, I'm not like you. Are you afraid? Ah, uh, get shit on. I. Uh, I'm sorry. Man, I think for it's racing okay. games, I. Preferred Mario Kart 64 and Did Diddy Kong Racing more than Adventure Beetle Racing. Yeah. Not like yet. Mario Kart 64. She's is not anywhere. A classic for a reason. Did she live in this apartment building? I also really liked Snowboard Kids. I don't know. I remember playing that one a couple times. It was pretty good. So, all you know is she lived in this town. What did you say? So, I'm not super big into racing games, period. How do you know that? Well, I just figured, because this is where you're looking for her. How else would I know? Yeah. Amos' voice acting is so weird. Yeah, well, Am I think I right? it's definitely emphasized by the I'm weird so change in speed of the game. So, why did you come to this town anyway? <laughs> We're experiencing a deeper form of Silent Hill. 
I'm silent sorry. Silent Hill. Did did you find the person I you're looking for? Sure Not yet. Her name's Mary. She's my wife. Quick, shoot her and take her knife. It's okay. Anyway, she's dead. I don't know why I think she's here. She's dead? Don't worry. I'm not Everyone crazy. Everyone just sounds like they've had dental surgery. <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. I've got to find my mama. Should I go with you? This town's dangerous. Now I know what you meant back there in the cemetery. I have I'll gun. be okay by myself. Besides, i just slow you down. What about that? Will you hold it for me? Sure. No problem. Yep, you definitely would not if want to have any kind I of weapon while it, running around I'm in this not town sure with monsters. What I might do. Maybe her monsters are different. That could be true. <laughs> the knife is a weapon, and if it is, if it's better than the board. Hmm. Yeah, we'll find out. Can I not pick up whatever this golden thing is? Looks like not. a coin. It does. I mean, okay. Yeah, I can pick it up. You lied to me, James. <laughs> Let's see. Where are you, knife? Can I... Nope, it is not a weapon. Fight yourself. <laughs> Those are really good reflections for a PS2 game. For sure, yeah. Yeah, it's funny because you compare it to something more modern like Song of Horror where they just covered all the mirrors. <laughs> yeah, or like Duke Nukem Forever. Did they do that in Duke Nukem Forever? No, just like the reflections were kind of like warped and weird, but that could have been because of how it's running on my computer. Mm. I just remember looking at the me like, oh, this looks weird. And then he talked about his dick or whatever. Who was the Gearbox director? Was it Randy Pitchford? Randy Pitchford. Randy, what are you doing? He's, he's doing the uh, Mostly magic tricks. Yeah. Fuck up this mannequin. Let's do it. Ah, oh, Mr. Mr. Gold with the raid. Everyone's thank you, thank you. Party. What are you guys up to tonight? Something good, I hope. Kaizo? Kaizo? I don't think I know what Kaizo is. Do you know Why what does Kaizo that name is? sound familiar? Oh! 
it's isn't that a Mario like yeah, isn't that like a ROM hack? Like super hard Mario. Gotcha. Mario ROM hacks. Gotcha. Let's see. Okay, yeah, this is where I just was. So, do you have two coins as of right now? Yeah. Oh, the coins go in the thing. Yeah, we need five of them, right? Yeah. Got a lot of coins to find. First aid kit. That's what I wanted to see. Man, I don't, I don't know why the name Kaizo made... Silent Hill's going well. I'm, I don't know. We fought a decent number of monsters and come out on top most of the time. And we've solved some puzzles. Chugging energy drinks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The game has not been super stable, mostly for the cutscenes, but... That's all right. It's it's sort of funny. It it kind of like weirdly works for Silent Hill that even if it's <laughs> unstable, <laughs> it it's almost feels like it's enhancing the experience in some ways. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, but man, yeah. It, the name Kaizo, I guess, just because it's like starts with a K and is the same number of letters I was thinking of like Kaiji and then when you said it was a Mario hack I was like I kind of want like a Mario Kaiji I don't know why I want that but it would be fun. what would he be gambling I don't know see when I heard it I was thinking of Paizo the people who made uh, Pathfinder mm. I was I was like, wait a minute, this is like a, a Mario RPG? Yeah, I want to play Mario with guys in the game. Oh, yeah. I've heard of either of those. Kaiji's an anime that's just like about this guy who gets into some real fucked up situations because of bad gambling decisions. <laughs> So it would be a very weird mix with Mario, but that's why I would find it kind of funny. <laughs> it is a very good anime. Yeah, it is really good. I need to finish it sometime. Ultimate Survivor. Yeah. Kaiju. It's definitely, it's like pretty dark, but... Well, it's it can get dark. It also is has a lot of... I think it's pretty well balanced. Yeah. Yeah, I like some dark animes. I can't get through that. I don't want a remake of Berserk that isn't garbage. <laughs> well, maybe uh, one day. I will be back in a bit. What, less happy-go-lucky anime? I get that. Well, that's the nice thing about anime is there are actually, like, dark, intense animes out there. I have been a longtime fan of, well, a lot of dark animes, but Evangelion is one of my favorite shows of all time. Death Note's great, too. That is a good one. But yeah, Evangelion gets crazy dark. Yeah, Death Note is such a good show. I think I've watched Death Note like three times just because it's so watchable. And has like actual interesting themes to it. Like, I think I'm always on L's side every time I've watched it. But those like, at the same time, I, I feel like if if someone gave me that notebook, like the power of that is so compelling that it's really interesting to think about, like, would you try and change the world? I don't 
know the answer. I feel like I would probably be too scared to use it, but... Yeah. Well, like, that's... It's that, like, argument between, um... Like, utilitarianism and deontology. Because, like, the show at least leans sort of... Because, like, I guess spoilers for Death Note for anyone who hasn't watched it. But, like, you know, towards the end, there's those moments where, like, the world has changed. And you see, like, on the TV, like, it actually has become kind of peaceful and crime rates have dropped and stuff. And I think that's an interesting question to ask is like if that was the cost of having a more peaceful world is that worth it and i genuinely don't know the answer which is why it's an interesting question force the breweries to make quality beers <laughs> oh man oh, a stuffed animal Okay, maybe I need to go back upstairs now. <laughs> Ranch again, is that still up? <laughs> Ranch again, is where Will has to drink a shitload of ranch. <laughs> CJ should probably take it down, but it's funny. Because they did, we did a version of it where, like, the community was able to collectively pile up points for the ranch again, and that, as I recall, <laughs> um, yeah, the channel road for it wanted an excuse to drink ranch. <laughs> I mean, it, it was more of a punishment imposed upon Will, but. <laughs> The main thing you remember from the anime is the I'll take this chip and eat it scene. <laughs> yeah, that is a that is like a, a classic scene. Oh, I wish I had a map so I could figure out where I have and haven't been yet. Man, I really wish the Netflix adaptation of Death Note had not been poopy butt garbage, but what can you do? So the, that was the correct call. I do actually have sort of a soft spot for the live action Japanese ones. I don't think I would say they're good, but they're kind of fun. Um, and they at least like stick to the plot and themes of the anime. Oh man, you can almost ranch again yourself, Will. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, the, the live-action Japanese ones are weird, though. I don't know, do people care about spoilers for those at all? Because I... It's interesting to talk about them, but I don't want to spoil them if there's something people want to watch. Because they do... While they, like, at least at first stick to the plot of the anime, they definitely change some things. Speak now or forever hold my peace. I'll take that as a go-ahead. So yeah, in the live action anime, the way, and I don't remember exactly how it goes down, but like in the second movie, the way that L manages to trap Kira is by getting Kira to write his name in the book. But L captures Kira in the movies before he dies. So like at the end of the second movie, L has a death sentence on him that he can't commute because his name has been written in the death note. But the but he manages to catch Kira. And then the third movie is like 
a bonus story where L like knows he's going to die, and my recollection is he's, he's like hunting down some mobsters or something. I don't remember exactly what it was, but because he knows he's gonna die, he can kind of like go with reckless abandon. CJ back to look at the walkthrough and tell me where to go next because I'm just running in circles and talking about Death Note. <laughs> I've stumbled into this room by accident like 40 times now. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, I don't know, like, live action anime is such a shit show every time. The one that I've seen that I think is pretty good is the live-action Mushishi anime, because that was directed by uh, Katsuhiro Otomo, the guy who wrote and the who wrote the manga for Akira, and then wrote the script and directed the movie Akira. And that guy is actually talented, so <laughs> he did a, a pretty decent job with it. Um. That's the trick, I guess, is to get someone who's actually talented. Instead of, I think it was Adam Wingard who did the Netflix one. So, suck it, Adam Wingard. Yeah, Mushishi's awesome. <laughs> Why didn't anyone tell them? Yeah, there is a live-action Japanese one directed by, like I said, the Katsuhiro Otomo. So if you've seen Akira and you like Akira, same guy. Gonna grab some grub. All right. Good to get some grub. Man, yeah. Mushishi's been a long time favorite of mine. Maybe? Nope, just the save spot back there. Man. The manga from Yushishi is good too. Everything's good about it. Just need to be more shows like that. I know the person who wrote it had another series, and I've never followed up on it. I probably should, though. She seems like a very talented manga writer. Do they call them manga writers, or do you have, like, a special name for it? Because they, well, I don't know. I guess there's manga artists, so why wouldn't there be manga writers? Am I just going into the same room over and over again? <laughs> uh, I need CJ back to help me. There's got to be something. Painting displayed here, nothing in particular interest. There's got to be something I can use this knife on somewhere. Doesn't look like there's anything useful here. I want a map. Please give me a map. Because I'm bad at directions and I'll just run in circles forever. That's my song. It's pretty good. I expect to win a Grammy for it this year. I'm gonna do the full, the full e -gap. I don't remember. So what is that? A Grammy? A Tony? What the fuck is a Tony for? Is it the Tony in the e -gap? What's the E for? Why can't I remember anything? Ever. Oh man. It's okay. Aha, you're back. And I, I am back. I could use your help. 
because I've just been What's up, bro? running in circles ever since I got the knife. Okay. That, all right. Yeah, we have made uh, zero progress since you left. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, did you find a house key yet? No. Maybe you want to check an apartment on the first floor. Okay. So I'm on the first floor now. Um, do you know an apartment number? Because I've been going in and out of 105. Hard to tell, but I still really want a map. Wait, you haven't gotten a map yet? Nope. Which is part of why I've been running in circles. The the map is in the hallway. Oh, uh, on the first floor. Is... Uh, near the start. I think it's on the second floor. Okay. So you have a map. Take a right down the hall and look for an exit sign. Enter the white door with the sign pointing to it. And you'll find the thing. I'm going to go up to the second floor and get that map first. Because that is oh, going to... Man. What? Oh, no, then I'm... What were you going to say? I was just saying, like, that is going to make this a lot easier. Minister Gold saw through our ruse that Will just wants an excuse to drink ranch. Yep. That's why he's been saving up all his bad oleans. And if he doesn't want them, he can bet them all against Brian Cornell, and then Brian Cornell can use them. Okay, so somewhere up here on the second floor hallway is the map. There should be a door that you go through. Gotcha. Look for an exit sign. Look for an exit sign. Okay. I would like one exit sign, please. Oh, that looks exity. White door? Or across yes. from white door? White door? White door. that the stairwell I was just in? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Aha! We've got a map. Alright, so now we've got a map, and we'll go back down to the first floor. And now we're going to 105, which looks like it's pretty close. Are you a 105? You are. And you say there's a house key in here? Are you yes. muted again? Yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm just eating dinner. I gotcha. I wonder if I did get a house key and didn't realize it. Let's take a look in my inventory and see if I'm dumb. I very well might be. Nope, no house key. I'm officially not dumb. If I was a house key, where would I hide? Hmm. It's not in this thing, is it? 
Did you find a cabinet with an inscription on it? You mean this one with the coin thing? Yeah, you need to... You should have... Oh. Uh... Three coins by now, right? I have two coins. What? So I have snake coin and prisoner coin. Hmm. So am I missing a coin that I should have found? I'm double checking every. Yes, there is okay. a coin back in the other apartment. Damn. All right, off to the other apartment. It involves solving the riddle with the garbage chute you've looked at multiple times. Mm. Yeah, I figured I shouldn't have left without solving the garbage chute riddle. And now I have paid the price. The iron price. Let's see. Garbage day indeed. Okay. So we're going this way. Not there. Is it here? It must be here. Poor James just has to keep crawling back and forth between apartment buildings. This is your life now. Okay, I'm going to look at it again. Yeah, I think I could do this one. I wouldn't be thrilled about having to go to go that path, but I could do it. Okay, so let's see. Let's go check out the garbage chute again first. My guess is that I need to go either a floor up or a floor down and do something. Because I feel like if I could just hit it with something, then, like, why can't I just stick the board down, you know? So let's go down a floor first and see if we can figure out where the garbage chute is. No, no you're, you're, you were looking at the garbage chute. Well, yeah, I guess I was saying my theory was I needed to do something on a different floor with it. Are you no, saying... You, you, it's an inventory puzzle. Oh. Oh. Okay. It's not that. Not that. Do I hit it with canned juice? Okay. I don't know how I was expected to guess that I was supposed to drop juice on it. Get ready for even more of that shit. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm going to be rubbing everything on everything else, aren't I? Do I get my juice back? So. I also hope that it is oh this is not where a garden shoot lives probably let's see well, where is the garbage chute down here. 
do I need to go through the courtyard to get to it? Because that seems weird. Yeah, might maybe. be a pile of garbage. You've looked at the location where to go multiple times. I have. Like a pile of garbage in the building. No, it's out here. Okay. Never going back to that swimming pool. Oh, wait, are you in the courtyard? Yeah. No, no it's not in the courtyard. It's uh, the other I know where it is. Area. Okay. I feel dumb. I do believe my not dumb status has been officially revoked now. Until I can solve a clever puzzle, then I maybe can get it back. Garbage bag is torn and the contents are strewn all over. I got the old man coin. What's this? Some gossip magazine, eh? Ooh. The police announced today that Walter Sullivan, who was arrested on the 18th of the month for the brutal murder of Billy Locaine and his sister Miriam, committed suicide in his jail cell early on the morning of the 22nd. Wait, was that the guy from 4? Walter Sullivan? Yep. Oh, okay. According to the police statement, Sullivan used a soup spoon to stab himself in the neck, severing his cartoid artery. By the time the guard discovered him, Sullivan was dead from blood loss. The spoon buried two inches in his neck. An old schoolmate of Walter Sullivan's from his hometown of Pleasant River said, He didn't look like the type of guy who would kill kids. But I do remember that just before they arrested him, he was blurting out all sorts of strange stuff like, He's trying to kill me. He's trying to punish me. The monster. The red devil. Forgive me. I did it, but it wasn't me. The schoolmate then added, I guess now that I think of it, he was kind of crazy. Well, that's cool. Get to Get to see... Get a little flashback, or flash forward, I guess, to Silent Hill 4. To where Robert had the proest gamer moves. <laughs> I mean, we did get the not bad ending. Yeah, I'm, I'm still impressed. We somehow pulled it out. Yeah, I... I can say conclusively at this point that the controls in 2 are much better than the controls in 4 were so. I don't remember the tank controls in 4 being bad at all. I don't think they were tank controls. They were like some sort of weird in-between tank controls and modern controls. And they were just like... They were fine most of the time, but then they would just get bad and inconsistent sometimes. Hmm. Were you playing this on the Wii version? No, it was the PC version, because we got oh, it from okay. GOG. Oh my god, I could have sworn when you first started talking, you I thought you said Resident Evil 4. Like, at the start of the stream, so I thought you kept saying, like, oh man, the tank controls from Resident Evil 4 sucked compared to this. No, I was talking about Silent Hill 4. <laughs> Which had very bad controls. That Silent... I 100% believe. Silent Hill 4, or er, Resident Evil 4 has really good controls. Yeah, so I was like, why does he think this game has better control than 
Resident Evil 4, one of the greatest games of action ever made. That's funny. I was like, man, CJ's really sticking his neck out for Silent Hill 4. Henry's my man. Okay. Back we go to 105. I learned stuff about Resident Evil 4 I didn't even know. Oh, yeah? That uh, if you wear the gangster outfit you get for beating the game on professional difficulty, and if you have the Tommy gun that has infinite ammo, mm -hmm. when you hit the button to reload, since there's nothing to reload, like, Leon will just take his hat off and do tricks with it. <laughs> That's pretty fun. And I was like, oh man, I didn't know that. That shit's cool. Okay, so let me look. I'm going to look first at the coins that I have. And then we'll read that long-ass riddle again. So, we have got... Snake. Pri or old man... And prisoner. Is it pre pre prisoner? Is that a thing? The, oh, and one punch, one punch man, man, right? Okay. Yes. I don't think this prisoner is as cool as that one, but we'll see. Okay. First lies the seat of he who is peerless, silent, and empty, heartless and fearless. Beside him sits one who knows the place of the servant is next to the throne. Dozens of feet, yet not a single toe, the one that is hidden beside him doth go. Seducer of dreams, creature of Hades, Lying further from man and closer to lady. Man and woman seeing all, heedless to the raven's call. Silent and hidden the two may be. They be not there for you to see. Return them to whence they would be, and blessing shall descend on thee. I speak thus, the north star behind me, the birth of the sun is the start of the story. Good lord. Okay. It's, um... <laughs> Alright. Time to prove that I am not dumb. First lies the seat of he who is peerless, silent, and empty. Heartless and fearless. Beside him sits one who knows the place of the servant is next to the throne. So I don't know what the first one is. And the second one doesn't sound to me like a snake, an old man, or a prisoner. But maybe it could be an old man. Dozens of feet, yet not a single toe. The one that is hidden beside him doth go. Seducer of dreams, creature of Hades, lying further from man and closer to lady. So that's got to be snake, I think. I agree. And it says, the one that is hidden beside him doth go. So, is that... So he's got to go next to one of the spots that we don't have a coin for. Man and woman seeing all, heedless to the raven's call. Silent and hidden the two may be, they be not there for you to see. Return them to whence they would be, and blessing shall descend on thee. Took an anti-anxiety med and drank a bunch of water and ate food and prep for the hangover. Well, yeah, I mean, it's good to do some prep for the hangover. You got to get some uh, Gatorade in there, though. Or my roommates who like to drink a lot always will take Pedialytes. <laughs> I don't know if you have Pedialyte, but apparently it's really good for preventing a hangover. Oh man, I still
still have no idea where any of these coins go. Welcome to hard mode! <laughs> yeah, for real. He who is peerless, silent, and empty, heartless, and fearless. So maybe that could be old man? Unless, well, are old men silent and empty? Well, there are five slots, correct? Yeah. Five slots, three coins. I've only been able to associate one riddle with a coin. <laughs> If I had to guess, maybe the first one is empty? Maybe. Because it's peerless, silent, and empty. Okay, so if that's the case, then Snake goes in the second spot. Uh, it could. <laughs> I would think the second one's the old man, just because it says he who knows, so it's like wisdom. Okay, let me read it again. Peerless, silent, and empty, heartless. Hides him sits one who knows the place of the servant. Okay, yeah. So let's... Oh, M for old man. Dozens of feet. The one that is hidden beside him doth go. Further from man and close. So there's got to be a hidden one then next to old man and then snake... And then... So, empty old man, empty snake, and then that would just be prisoner at the end. But it says that that snake lies closer to lady, and lady has to be another one of the hidden ones, unless the prisoner look at is the... a lady. Yeah, look at the coins. Can you, like, examine them? That is a really good idea. Let's see. Oh, it is a lady. Yes! And an old man. And a snake. I think we've solved it. Okay. Alright. Oh, damn it. I need to actually pull them from my inventory now, don't I? I think so. I'll get there one of these days. All right, so we're seeing old man in slot number two. Put it here. Then snake. Oh wait, is it like mouse cursor? Yeah, yeah. You even with the controller, you just like mouse cursor it over. It's not locking into. Man, I forgot about that. That's weird is indeed weird. So we got the snake. Alright. And we've got the prisoner. Get in that hole. Aha! We did it. Thank oh, you for shit. helping me. We got the Lynn house key. So now I guess we need to leave the apartments, right? I would assume. We're going to go hang out at Lynn house. I don't know. Do I need to go back to the other apartment to get out? I don't think the apartments have doors that open the one I'm in. The house key is used in the apartment. Oh, it is? Well, I was going to say, did you examine the key? We need to start examining things. You need to start reminding me to examining things. Why do I have to remind you how to play this game? <laughs> you know our you know you know our thing. Then I just sound like this weird backseat gaming asshole. But I I, I I appreciate your help. <laughs> I still remember like the first time I came over to your house and we were playing Uncharted 2 or Uncharted 1 on the PlayStation or something, and I was like, oh man, you gotta watch out for these dudes, and you just, like, turned and looked me dead in the eye and were like, dude, stop backseat gaming, and I've just forever thought about that. I have never owned any of the Uncharted games. I have no idea what you're talking about. No, I brought it to your house. Oh, you did? Yes. Okay. 
It Did you bring the PS3 hung. also then, I guess? Yes. Okay. Did. All right. Okay. Man, yeah, I don't remember that, but I It was you it was you and Will were all there. Okay. Okay. So this is the key that was left with Uncle David. So this will be the key that gets us the other key. And that's the room near the first floor staircase, I believe. So let's see here. We're I think that was like the only time I ever met your parents. Oh, yeah? They would have been around any time you were at the house, I'm sure. Yeah, I only went to your house like once or twice. Okay, well, there you go. I think it was in... Was it Linwood? Was that the name of the housing development? Wedgwood. Wedgwood, that's what it was, yeah. Oh, we were in Uncle David's apartment. Okay. So now maybe we go back to the second floor. Do I have a journal? I do. I have a memo pad. Dear Tim, that's the one I'm looking for. He is in the room. Damn it, it doesn't tell me where their house is. Or apartment, I guess. Man. I have a memory of like being at a sleepover at your house on your birthday. Mm -hmm. And we were playing Assassin's Creed, and I think I was being a high school boy and saying some high school boy things, and then you're like, mom coming out and it being super awkward. Maybe I... The only thing I really remember from that is like, I fucking thought, like, Assassin's Creed was so cool. And then you're just like, ah, I don't really like it that much. And I'm just like, oh, man. <laughs> and I have never forgiven it. And I never will. That's fair. Stick to your guns. Yep. No matter how wrong they are. <laughs> I mean, I, Although, I honestly genuinely don't think it's a game I would like very much. Just because I tend to oh, not like I've... that style of open world game. But... I I do not think the OG one holds up well at all. Well, I mean, even the newer ones, like the series as a whole. Oh, okay. I don't, I, like, I'm just, I'm not really a fan of that kind of open world that they make in those games. I really think, especially, like, it started with Origin, but with Odyssey, which is my favorite one. It felt a little less like a stereotypical Ubisoft game where they're like, here's a bajillion icons, go do stuff. Hmm. But yeah, up until those ones, it was definitely getting really tiring. Yeah. Climbing to a sync point. And then it's like, here's 900 more icons of shit to go pick up. Yeah. I mean, like, so here's what I'll say. Like, there are games that I think are, are like, much better versions of that. Like... Ghost mm -hmm. of Tsushima, I think, is a really good game, but I got burned out on it because because I don't like that style of open world game. What um, style of open world games do you like? Like the Bethesda ones, I like. Um, mm -hmm. I did like, even though I guess I didn't finish it either. Um, actually, I rarely ever finish open world games. I just get caught up inside shit. Um, Breath of the Wild is a game I really like. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know I... Hmm? Oh, so I was going to say, I think Bethesda probably makes the most interesting open world games. Yeah. That's the thing is like the Bethesda, like Bethesda games feel genuinely free. Or like you have like, a right. genuine sense of, of like, I can do almost whatever I want. Uh, you really need to play New Vegas. Yeah, I do. I'm replaying it right now, doing my first ever evil run. Oh, yeah? 
and I'm just like, this is pretty good still. <laughs> Our 500 coming in strong. Yeah. Well, maybe we could do that for stream sometime. I'd be down for that. I'd like to see... Because, like, even I can't bring myself because, like, it doesn't make sense to me a lot of the time to go, like, full chaotically evil in that game world. Mm -hmm. And I have so. no qualms whatsoever about being chaotically evil. Oh, no, no, no. So oh. there... Uh, I don't like that. I hope you're ready to boss fight. Well, you also have a billion bullets. Am I supposed to shoot him, though? I thought this was one that you just, like, survived through. No, this is a defeat him fight. Okay. Oh, fuck. I got hit. Oh, god. Oh, wait. So never mind. You can also... You know what? Just do, do what you gotta do, man. Well, what I did was get murdered. Oh, what the damage. fuck? Yeah. Oh, you if he grabs you, press the action and run buttons really fast. Okay. All right. Yeah, you were saying something, and then we ran into there, and it was... I was going to say, I, I think I could have a lot of fun watching you just Be a annihilate. Be nightmare person. Yep. Although, really, I don't have as many resources to do that in that game as I do in Oblivion, or in Elder Scrolls games, I guess, but... Well... Oh, Resources, not maybe here. not, but like quest decisions and actions, yes. Fair enough. Like you can do some deeply evil things. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I will say, like, I don't genuine, I don't generally go out of my way to do evil in those games just to be evil, so much as mm -hmm. because it's advantageous and I have no qualms about it being. Well, like, what do you mean uh, you don't have the resources, like, in Oblivion? In Oblivion, I... Or, like, in Elder Scrolls, I will I will be evil just to be evil. Like, that thing Will always talks about that I will do. Where, like, once a companion irritates me enough, they just get sucked into a soul gem and then made into enchanted armor for the next companion to wear so that they remember what happened to the last one. Like, that's evil for the sake of being evil. I guess I didn't know. What do you mean by resources? I don't know. Just like, like in Fallout, I don't think there's anything as crazy as that that you can do. It's more like, uh, like you can kill or shoot. a bunch of shit. You can enslave people, you can get people addicted to drugs. Yes, that's true. You can tell someone that their uh, mom killed their dad, so that way on Mother's Day they'll go get revenge by murdering their mom. You can do nothing to anyone. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, it's been a, been a long time. And that would be fun to, like, be like, okay, I'm just gonna do an evil run. Hit the buttons. Yeah. It's too late. Why? Why aren't you using a gun? I'll do it. I'll use up my bullets. I only have like 200 of them, though. You goof. Man. I did have a shitload of ammo when I finished Resident Evil Village. 
Wait, did you ever use the Lynn house key? That's what got me into this apartment. Oh, okay. I just wanted to make sure. I was like, did we do that? Yeah. So, yeah this is the only thing left to do is fight Peter Midhead. I need to stop using the map and start. You know what? Let's put my gun on and then go back in here and save one more time. And that way, if we die again, we don't have to grab the key again and we don't have to equip the gun again because we've already done it. And that's Lord. how we become... Also, you should probably heal because you're going into this fight very damaged. Mm, yeah, you're right. Should I eat the med kit or just the health drink? If you, it looks like you're at red, so I would say, yeah, the med kit. There is a redder red than this, but... Oh, okay, then yeah, just the health drink. Oh, I need to find more Perfect. healing. Yep. But honestly, like, I don't know, builds are a lot more fun and developed in New Vegas than they are in any of the Elder Scrolls games. Hmm. I do, I will say, like, I really enjoy doing snipery stuff in the Fallout games. The Fallout New Vegas has the best sniper rifle in any of the Fallouts. <laughs> I did a sniper katana build, and it was James is going, what? What are you do? What are you doing over this? Hey, what? And then just him just bitch slapping you with this giant knife. Well, because like on screen, all I could see was his non-sword hand, and he was kind of like raising it up. And I had emptied a whole clip on him, so I thought, oh, maybe he's done now. But I couldn't really see. And then when I got closer, I was like, oh nope, you're you're gearing up to swing at me. He's winding up that pimp hand. He sure was. Is, is, is Will, are you still here? I know you burbed us, but are you back? Oh, he probably went for a walk because he's a weirdo. He's or to watch Cora. Watching Cora. Yeah. Oh. I don't know, and I'm not sure if I want to know either. I have a very strong suspicion that pyramids ball, pyramid balls smell terrible. That they're wet? His balls smell terrible. Yeah, that's a safe bet. Hi, G would take that bet? <laughs> yeah. Oh. 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 Oh.
Dark Souls power. Yeah. Okay, it looks like he's going now. Get out of here. No one wants you here, Pyramid. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, I fucked up. Oh my god, I fucked up so hard. Why, why though? Why would you do this? You, you had, you had it in your hands. I thought it was funny to taunt him. <laughs> it's that it's that thing from RE2 Remake all over again. Lucy and to everyone who took time out of their day. <laughs> I'm sorry, CJ. I couldn't help myself. It's fine. It was funny. I I thought once he had decided like okay I'm gonna go away that he would be done. But or I... he was just moving into phase two where he starts getting running attacks. Oh no. <sighs> we'll get him this time. I believe. Pyramid head. Yeah, where's your mask? Okay. I guess he is the probably safe on the mask. Probably. But the scariest part of Pyramid Head is that he's an anti vaxxer Oh no. Oh no. no, fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. He'll never get me. Don't block that close to him, though. Please. Let's keep some distance. He's gonna take it. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck! Oh my god, that was close. But also, if you could be not in the middle of the room, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! I thought I was dead there. Said I juked him real hard because I'm too good at the game. He's gonna grab your nuts! Yep, please walk away from me now, please. Just let, just let him go. Yep. Keep some distance from you. You just go down there. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, not such a big pyramid man now, are ya? I had to taunt him at least a little. What are you gonna do about it, geometry face? Really nice of him to drain the water. That was really nice of him. I guess we should put on our board again. Yeah. So how many bullets did you use? Let's see. Uh, I think we started with like 130 in the pocket, so I I think we used about 30 bullets, and I that seems right. I think we reloaded like twice. So. Well, uh, another cool thing for when you play this again is you can actually defeat him without shooting him at all. Oh, yeah? Yep, if you just run around for three minutes. That's what I said earlier. Ah! Because my recollection is when I played 
this before, that's what I did to win that fight, was just run around for three minutes. Well, I don't remember exactly how long, but just run around and not get hit. Like, I was thinking about it, I'm like, man, his, like, attacks aren't that, like, really that dangerous if you're paying attention, but I'm like, this isn't designed to be an action game, and his wind-up for that big slap is so long that if you do get hit by it, it's like, that's your own fault, and you deserve to die in one hit. Yeah. I was like, that's... I Because I remember thinking this boss fight was super stupid the first time I played it. I'm like, you're bad at this pyramid head. <laughs> But now I'm like, you know what, Pyramid Head? Take take life at your own pace. <laughs> Treat yourself. Yeah. But yeah, you you can just kind of Benny Hill around him. Mm -hmm. That is the quality of boss fights for the rest of the game. <laughs> Hey, it's that shit-ass kid. It is that shit-ass kid. You, Throw a rock at her shin. It was you, wasn't it? Or bullet. You're the one who stepped on my hand. I don't know. Maybe I did. Yep. Bullet. What's a little girl like you doing here anyway? Huh? Are you blind or something? What's that letter? None of your business. You are rude, you child. You love Mary anyway. Wait! How do you know Mary's name? Bruh, I left the shit out of Mary. I don't actually know if that's true. I do not know James's full story. It is not a happy one. Yeah, I have a suspicion we're going to find he was not very good to his wife, but I shall find out in the fullness of time. Can I go up here? Should I go up here? I cannot go all the way up there, but I can get more handgun bullets. It was nice of someone to litter this he, town. He was still looking at something up there. He was? Yes. Oh, yep. More handgun bullets. Just saved your life. He did. Thank you, my friend. That's why I'm here. Any, any of my friends who need help finding bullets for handguns... I'll help them. I think I got turned around there. Yep. I kind of almost wish this had just like the fixed cameras from Resident Evil. Yeah, I definitely think like, I think Silent Hill is a much better horror experience, mm -hmm. but I, I think Resident Evil games are better games. Mm -hmm. And I think a big part of it is just, like, the artistry of the fixed cameras. Yeah. So this is that park. Mary, are you here? But I would love a remake of this game at the quality of hey, the Punish RE2 Venom remake. Up. Hey! How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. But yeah, I agree. A modern remake of this game would be hopefully really good. If it was done right, it would be great. <laughs> also, hi to Prometheus Actual again. He's still cool. <laughs> he is still cool. Oh, Ganon. Oh, man. What'd he do to earn himself time out? You trying to collect the spirit stones again? <laughs> uh, 
I've what already lost. What did that lost. sign say? It had the word caution on it. Back this way? Oh, well, back up in that stairwell you just came down. There was a sign next to the hallway you went down that said caution. Caution slippery when wet or frosty. Uh, oh, no. Oh, man. Can't be doing that. Also, you have a two-foot Samus statue, because I am jealous. I I would love some pics of that in our Discord. Indeed. I have the good smile Samus, but that is not two feet tall. What's on that bench? Wait, there's... I missed something. He's head, he's head track into that yep. bench next to the gazebo. Handgun bullets. The light suit? Nice. Ooh, multiple Samuses. I really like Samus. I Would really that be hope... Samai? <laughs> Samai. It's his favorite game series. Man, yeah, I am really hoping we get four sometime within the next couple years. Because I've only seen, like, Metroid Prime 1 played through all the way. Yeah. That's another one that would be really fun to do on the channel, is the Metroid Primes. I like those games a lot. Oh, lord. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, sometimes... <laughs> 40 years from now, the cutscene may load up. Hold on. Let's see. Because that last one, it, like, stuck at the start for a long-ass time, too. And then it played the scene out in weird slow-mo. It's What's actually hey. happening is uh, James is trying to think of all of the things to say. Yeah. He's, he's loading up the conversation magazine. <laughs> No, you're not. Do I look like your girlfriend? No, my late wife. Your girl. I can't believe it. Man, you yeah, some of the aftermarket me. figmas can get pretty crazy. Seven, Face. Wait, a seven-inch tall figma? Wait. Clothes are different. So seven inch two things so expensive. Well, first off, like normal figmas are not seven inches like tall, so that's way bigger than a normal figma. But also, they're like fully articulated figures. What does that mean? I don't I think the figmas are usually seven. Inches. Really so Mary. they actually have like joints. They're like they're I'm action really figures, weird. not statuettes. Sorry. Oh, so like okay. most of my oh, figures okay. are not. Where are you going? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, some instability issues in what Have is definitely a real PlayStation 2 that we are playing Didn't this game on. Didn't you say yeah. she died? And definitely not an emulator. We would never do that. Oh yeah. Three years ago. Gosh. Yeah, yeah, the Figmas but won't have like parts too, but they she she was waiting. they like also have place. like. Normal action That's figures have here. some joints, but Figmas anyway, are like it's nuts the it. level they go to to articulate those. Is this here? Gotcha. Um, you can do so like so a Figma. You can pose pretty much any way you want to. That's how you do a stop motion. Yeah, if you wanted to do like a stop motion with a figure, a Figma would be pretty good to use. Well, there's the hotel too, I guess. The one on the lake? I wonder if it's still there. The Lakeview Hotel? Yeah, it's still there. So the, the only thing I've spent that much money place, on for a single huh? item was either like I'll bet it I think was. I've only spent that much money on like a Don't graphics get card. So yeah. Mad. I was just joking. That's fair. Anyway, yeah. it's not that way. Yeah, I have it's this way. I think my most expensive figure was like three fifty. You are coming with, with me? You. Yep. You were gonna just leave me? Now you have no, to challenge her to a Tariba duel to see who no, can be I the leader just... of the weebs. <laughs> I'm all alone here. Everyone else is gone. 
What are we doing that Tariba stream? I look like. I mean, we can do one if you want. Don't I'll need to figure out. You loved her, right? How to? I guess we would what use an it? Android emulator and then capture you that. You hated her. But don't be ridiculous. I'm pretty sure you can Tariba from your yeah, like PC. Fine. Oh yeah, it could be too. Because uh, I know Funhouse did a Tariba stream, and it looked like they were just using the computer. Yeah. So the catch with a Tariba stream is that it would be one that was be like very dependent on people wanting to hang out with us, because like yes. Tariba, unless you have infinity money, is a game that costs a shit. That like you either have to be very patient for, or have a shitload of money. Um, okay. And while I have some money to spend on stupid bullshit, I, I don't have the amount of money that you would need to be like making regular plays over a multi-hour stream in Tariba. Fair enough. <laughs> in memory of the six oh, seven, I forgot about died this. of illness and now sleep beneath the lake. They're like, yeah, let's take all these plague victims and throw them into our water source. Seems like a good call. Daddy, why is the water spicy? Because <laughs> Uncle Jim. <laughs> Man, most expensive was a limited edition. $500. I'm assuming is, is that was like an aftermarket price. price. Is what? Oh, is is guns uh, like a specific property? Oh, or is guts. Just a oh, guts. Oh, dust. I'm stupid. That's dope. Does it have a button that when you hit it, it plays 9mm Parabellum bullet music? There's our frames back. Victim of persecution by T. Ons. Jenny A. Carroll lived with pride and honor. What happened here shall never be forgotten. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Does he come both with and without berserk armor? I wish I had the patience for Figmas. I think I bought one like way back in the day, but I don't have the patience to pose figures. I just feel like a child every time you keep saying the brand. The Figma? Yeah. Why does that make you feel like a child? Because I, I keep wanting to be like, fake my ball. <laughs> just like, come right to my head. Well, you've committed to it. Yep. Also, be ready to escort this lady for a long time. Okay. And her bodily status may or may not have major implications on the ending you get. Gotcha. Well, we're in red, so we're probably just going to drink that health drink that we accidentally picked up while trying... Oh, did I not drink it? You got two of them. Oh, well. Now I have drunk them both. Oh, no! They make another Silent Hill game. I hope one of the enemies makes dial-up internet noises as it runs at you. That would be like genuinely unnerving. Yeah. Okay, and you know how like during some of the other streams, I've jokingly been like, "Oh, you did this thing. Now you've cursed yourself." Mm -hmm. This is a game where those would not be jokes. Okay. I'm thinking we need to be looking for a save point here. That would probably be good. I need this lady to keep having to 
going down. Yeah, you're no match for a wood stick. But I can't get a different behind me. Even looking at the picture of my wife is important. Oh, man. I don't think I've been looking at the picture of my wife at all. Let's take a look. Wait, wait is this in? In my restless dreams, I see that town, Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday, but you never did. Well, I'm alone there now, in our special place, waiting for you. I have done it. Now I get the good ending. Yep. By which I mean now I get the ending with the dog. I know you said yep. I couldn't get it, but I'm gonna get it. Nice. You know match for me. Why is she Die, please. Takes four playthroughs. That's a lot of playthroughs. Now the dog playthrough, just the dog ending, just takes two playthroughs. Like two new game pluses, or you beat it once uh, and then you could get it on your second run. Think. I was looking. I think you could get it on your second one, like. Because half of the endings require a second playthrough. But maybe that one takes more, because that's because that's not even the final secret ending, like oh. the final like goofiest ending. Oh yeah, there's a goofier one. There's a goofy ending type that's in every Silent Hill game. Oh, is it the aliens? Oh, he, he's looking at something over there Is he? by the truck. Yes, there's always the UFO ending. And that's goofier than the dog? Well, because there's an ongoing narrative with each ending that just keeps getting sillier and sillier. Gotcha. 15th beer. That's a lot of beers. I I feel like I just wouldn't even have enough bladder for that much We need to run. Run away, lady, what are you doing? I would like a save point, please. The next closest save point is in Jack's Inn. Jack's Inn. Which is where I am. Look at the cars. Look at the cars. Okay. Go back. Does this feel like a good stopping point? Yep, that's what I'm thinking is since I still have All to work right. tomorrow probably it's time to call it a night. But Let's see who's streaming and we can rate him. Nice. Man, yeah, it's been yeah, a good be stream. Playing sea of Thieves. We can say nice. hey to him. Actually, I'll check our other page to make sure there's anyone else streaming that we haven't rated in a while. Oh yeah, we got a bunch of people going. Oh! Anorexis is playing Dead Space. Nice. 
go say hey to that dude. Sounds good. I almost called him a jabroni, and then I was like, wait, that's an insult. <laughs> Don't say that. He's a cool guy. He is a cool guy. Well, man, we really appreciate everyone who came to hang out and play uh, Silent Hill 2 with us tonight. And thank you so much, Minister Gold, for that raid. And Kirk, thank you very much for that follow. Indeed. And yeah. But we will be back tomorrow for very likely the end of Resident Evil Village. Yep. And then, I don't know, what's your plan on Monday? Monday, uh, I was going to be going back to Ghost of Tsushima. Nice. And then I'll be back with Silent Hill 2 on Tuesday. Most excellent. But if you like what you saw, dropping a follow is very appreciated. We're a little baby channel trying to get big and strong. <laughs> and uh, VODs for this will be up on YouTube in a few days. Links to all of our social nonsense are in our About section. And until next time, bye! bye. Good job, bud. Thank you.